light intensity. Yeah, but like it's uh Alrighty, we're going to get started here in just a second. We're going to hop on over to the Just Chatting screen. Hello, hello, everybody. Good morning. Um, Well, good morning for me, anyway. Happy time zone. I am wearing my monocle. Thank you, Sake Mimi. Um, but yeah, welcome in, guys. So today we are going to be playing Mail Time, which I do not know a whole lot about it. Um, the only information that I have about this game is that the main character is a little mushroom girl with really cute freckles, and she delivers the mail. And it looks really cute, and the art style is adorable. So, I'm really excited to play it. I've had it on my wish list for a little while now, and then I forgot about the Steam sale until I went looking earlier this morning, and I was like, oh! <gasps> I was like you, but hi Faust, hi Ray, but da but da ba da ba. Mhm. Hi Faust, hi Rebound, hi Sake Mimi. <laughs> it is good to see you guys. Um, if you want to give me just a second, let me grab my controller. All right. Now again, I'm going in blind here. I don't know anything about this game, so we're gonna learn together. We're gonna see what happens. Let's hop on over to the streaming screen and let's do it. <laughs> um, uh, well, Bebe seems to be having a stroke, so there's that. It sounded like he had peanut butter stuck in his mouth. A little blep, dip, 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 dip. Okay, let me see something real quick, though. I've been trying to kind of, like, mess with the chat a little bit, because it's been bothering me. 
There you are. I just wanted to be a little more visible. Okay. I think I already adjusted everything I need to. Um, if you guys need me to turn the volume uh, up or down, please let me know and I will do so. But this is mail time. Starfruit. Oh, look at you go! Oh, ooh, look! Oh, this is so cute! So hairstyle, there's worm. Oh, I see, I see. Oh, this is adorable! I'm already in love. Oh, they give you pronoun options! Oh, that's so cute! I love! Ooh, I just- I need white hair, please. Thank you. Mushroom hat. Exactly! Do you have blue for skin? I don't think- Oh, wait. There was a funky color there for a second. Where is it? No, I don't think we have, like, a teal. So, we'll just- Oh my god! Oh, this is so fucking cute. It's gotta be the greens, but I wanna see what they all look like. Look how cute this is! Ah! <laughs> oh, it's so- I love it. And my backpack- Oh, Ooh, it's a leaf! Oh, I'm in love. How many chickens should I get? I have two now. Um, I- I like, like four. Four- I usually keep like four to six. It's gotta be the giant leaf. Okay, and glider. What does that mean? Oh, name? Retro? Oh, it's a little- oh, it's a little- that's- that's cute. The little- their little letters. Oh, I like that one. It's got a flower on it. What's this one, though? Heart. Okay. No, I like the flower one. Alright, I think this is us. <gasps> is that our car? Oh, that's so cute. Are we there yet? No. How about now? No. What about- Stop! <laughs> Will you shut up if I tell you where we're going? Promise! Alright. I don't get too excited. But today is our first- is your first solo delivery. What? Yes! My ears! Oh, sorry. Right, so. Okay, so you got it, right? Yep. Wait. No. <laughs> that is actually me. One more time. Listen closely this time, then. You. You retro. <laughs> I might call my chicken afterward. Yes. Me retro. I need you to deliver that letter in your backpack. To someone named Greg. Deliver letter to Greg. Since it's your first day on the job. First, but not la not least. Right, yes. You probably know a bit about what it's like to be a male scout. Yes, sir, Janet. I mean, ma'am. Top of my class at the male academy. Or, well, I'm in the top ten-ish. But I'm ready to learn! Why is this actually me? <laughs> well, it's one thing to learn from the books, and another thing to learn in real life. 
Mail Scout Official Handbook, page 12. Good one, Janet. Try me on another one. Scout, what did we say about the interrupting thing? Not to do it? Yes, please try. Before you're ready to deliver your letter to Greg, you should do a practice run. See that turtle over there? I want you to give them this note from me. You might just get something special for it. In case you forget how your legs work, you can use the L to walk around. Aye aye, Captain Jan, be right back! <gasps> Look at us! Oh my god, we're so cute. Okay, we can do hops. Oh, we're so bouncy. We're so bouncy. This is delightful. I'm having a great time. Oh, I can just sit. I know I need to deliver a letter, but have you considered? Sits. He does a little sit! Okay, for Shelby. Hi! Hi, are you here for an autograph? You talking about the little bee? He's so cute! His name is Benson. That's Benson Bumblebee. I didn't get a notice for this one. What a scam. Oh, hey, Smokey. Sorry about that. Also, hi, Worm. I'm wearing my monocle. Thank you. Oh! Do I have to get mail signed before I can deliver it? I don't remember that from the handbook. Oh, no. I meant, do you want my autograph because I'm famous? Oh, what for? I'm a track star in, neck in training for my next race. Speedy Shelby, they call me. Your name is In Shelby. Then this letter is for you. Oh, fan mail? Of uh, sorts? Let's see it then. This is a fake letter. Just pretend that you're reading it. It's his first delivery. Oh, I see. Is that your supervisor over there? That's Janet. She's my boss. Or something like that. I'm not really sure. In that case, I accept this letter. I w it was delivered to me following Mail Scout protocol. I am ecstatic with the service I have received. <laughs> Five stars. Thank you, Shelby. No, wait. Four and a half stars. Why the four and a half? You didn't want my autograph. Oh, sorry. Do you happen to know where Greg is? Not currently. My brain is on sport mode. The <laughs> sports mode brain. <laughs> Wahoo! I'm gnawing on Twitch aggressively for failing to notify me of this greatness. <laughs> there is a bird outside my window. Aw! Keep at it, love Shelby, right? Information irrelevant to exercise can't be accessed right now. Maybe Egbert knows. He's clever. Squirrel man. Can't miss him. Asking around is the best way to find people around here. He's got a sweatband on his turtle shell. I just realized this. Sorry. Thanks for the tip. Bye, Shelby. Peace out, little scout. Look at him wave. <laughs> Chief Janet, I'm back. Visibly. <laughs> And I heard you gave the letter to Shelby. Huh? How did you hear that? It wasn't easy to miss. Good job, Scout. That means you've earned your first patch. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Yippee! So us Scouts work on a patch system. Once you've done something noteworthy, you earn a patch for it. With every patch you get, a little bit closer to being a real mail scout. And you'll get a little bit better at every mail delivery. For example, you might have noticed you can jump by pressing A. Well, by holding A, you can glide as well. Oh, <gasps> that's amazing! I'm literally never gonna touch the ground ever again! Oh, it's... I love this kid. This is me. <laughs> sure, why not dream big? Anyways, when you deliver that letter to Greg, you get an official mail scout patch. You'll be a full male scout for real. I can't wait! Good luck, Retro. You'll be here. I'll be here if you need me. Thanks, Mom. I mean, Miss Mail. I mean, Janet. <laughs> Bye! Oh, don't forget. You can press Y to check your deliveries and patches in your handbook. One last thing. 
<laughs> One last thing. What? Uh, where is where is Greg? Does it say on the envelope? No. Janet isn't even phased, right? I I appreciate Janet. She's not here to embarrass us. Then how would I know? Ask around and figure it out, kid. Cool, cool, cool. I can do that. I don't have crippling social anxiety. Letter for Greg. Watch this, watch this. I sit. I sit. Bird pick delivered at your leisure. Thank you. I love that there is a there is a fuck there is a there's a button for sit. You do the sit. Oh! <gasps> Bounces! Look at me go! How's the mush game going, by the way? It's going great. This is fucking delightful. ADHD trap, and I'm all here for it. Oh my god. It's, uh, this is... I'm in a teacup! Hey, a ladybug. Hi! What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, it's so pretty. Look at it all. Ah! Whee! Three things in a second. Shh, quiet. I'm focused. Oh, oh no. Wait, wait. Hold up. I got this. Eh. No, bounce. Let me up. There we go. Why is there a string tied around this? He takes a sit. Okay. Um, there's a house over there. We're looking for Greg. I should probably go down there before I try and go up anymore. Whee! Rabbit! Hello, sir. Ma'am. Person. What is your name? Snowdrop! Aww! Remember about the squirrel man? Yes! Ah, hello! What's going on? You have to. I'm afraid mom will find out what happened. Your mom? Yeah, her name is Daisy. She's not close by? Even with big ears, she won't be able to hear you. Okay, if you say so. I have a bit of a problem. I love the stars. They make me feel so excited. Do you know that stars are really far away? But with a telescope, you can see them as if they're really close. Isn't that cool? Oh, for sure. It's like you're right next to the stars. But that doesn't sound like a problem, really. Brother, hello there. Oh, hey, baby, welcome in. Well, I was looking through the telescope at the stars, and there was a meteor. A meteor. <laughs> I was trying to see. Oh, meteors are like stars that are flying. Did you know that? No, that's so cool. As I was trying to find the meteor, I was swinging the telescope around a bit. Turns out I was swinging it a bit too much, and before I knew it, the telescope was broken. And now the stars are far away again. Can you help me fix it? Not a problem! It looks like the lens is broken. The bit of thick glass inside the telescope. Oh, I know what part you mean. So the lens from a pair of glasses would work? That could work great. Well, I did see some around, but I don't really remember where. It was either near Kiki or Donna. Don't worry, Snowdrop, I'll figure it out. Thanks, Retro. And please don't tell Mom. Wouldn't dream of it. All right, we're gonna help Snowdrop. I don't need a telescope to feel like I'm close to the stars. I'm sitting right next to one right now. Bar ah! ah! Don't compliment me. I don't know how to. Uh, I don't know how to do that. <gasps> oh, hey, 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 stop, stop. No, don't fall. I wanna be. I wanna be. I wanna be high up. I wanna be tall. Let me up. Let me up. Yes. Okay, he said to look for the squirrel guy. 
So we can- Oh, flowers! <gasps> oh, look! I'm at work, but I sh uh, but the weekend is very slow, so I still watch you play games. Okie dokie! Just make sure you don't get in trouble. I love you. Have a good day at work. Look at all the flowers! Oh, this is so pretty. I'm a muskroom too. Hi, Iggy! Did you turn into a mushroom? No, you're still a heartless. I thought you bet your little stream avatar, buddy. I thought you turned into a mushroom. Where would I have that opportunity? Yeah, we have. There's little mushrooms now. You can be food. I think I'm gonna try and go up this Let's way this to find the squirrel guy. I turned myself into a mushroom retro. Congratulations, Mark. I'm so proud of you. I'm Mushroom Mark! Where would the squirrel be? Do you think he'd be up in the tree? Whee! Oh, you can't go any higher. Man. Who is the adorable snail calmly watching you? Oh, that's our new mascot. That's Bebe. He's a little talk-to-speech, um, bot. You guys can redeem him in the thing. Why are the- Oh! They're just- Oh! Oh dear. Okay. Those are funky-looking mushrooms. I think I'm mushroom. You are mushroom! Look at you bopping along! But that's Bebe. He is, he is the new channel mascot. And when you redeem Bebe Talks, he will speak things that you write. There's a bit of a delay though, so just make sure that you're you're aware. <laughs> I don't want anyone being like, it's broken because it takes a minute, because it just it takes a minute. <laughs> Look at these, they're just they're so cute. Spokey's right, this is an ADHD like daydream and nightmare. I am so focused on everything. I am perceiving all. Oh, and water. Get one second. I will hydrate. <sighs> I have hydrated. Thank you very much. I have been watered. All right, let's go. Oh no! Oh no! He bonked his head. Do I go that way or this way? You're not the squirrel. How long for the baby cooldown? It's about five. I think it's five minutes. Tomatoes have grown and so have the blueberries. Excellent. You have a lot of money. Kiki. Oh, hi. Mail Scout. Come here. I need you to send a letter for me. Oh? What you sending? A cease and desist. Oh, no. To a child that crossed me. That seems a bit overkill. I have... I'll have you know. The child robbed me in broad daylight. I was walking with my coin collection. The bag was open. I was letting the coins breathe the fresh air. <laughs> when I was interrupted by the vermin child. I think it's... Na I think the name was Cedar? She saw the glinting of light and was fascinated by my coins. But I only had so long to walk before I had to get back to my business. The landlord business, you see. Oh, I don't like you. <laughs> Truly time-consuming. Anyway, I must say seeing a young fellow coin enthusiast was nice. It's not a popular hobby around here. And I generously offered Cedar that Cedar admire my coins for one hour only, and then bring them back immediately. Well, Scout, it's been 61 minutes and my paws are empty. Now I must resort to stronger measures. Or else this child will walk all over me. You want to cease and desist for this? Nobody messes with Kiki. Don't you think this is disproportionate? Cedar is only a minute late. If you were paid to ask questions, wouldn't you be called a question scout? Well, I mean... But you aren't a question scout. You're a male scout. And I have mail for Cedar. Quit smelling me. Why don't you run along and deliver it? Fine. Glad we agree. We do not. You're weird. Apples. Look, it's you guys. 
right, let's see what's this way. This is so fucking cute. I am so glad I got this game. Because I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure if I was going to get it or not. And I am delighted. This is phenomenal. Oh. Uppies? I require uppies. Let's go. Oh, oh, don't fall. Don't do it. I just realized with the flower, this makes more sense now. Oh, yeah, it does, doesn't it? There's a giant flower on my back. <laughs> oh, it's a little dice chair. Phenomenal. 10 out of 10. Oh, hey, it's the squirrel. Hello. Hello. <sighs> I can't believe kids these days. Oh! Didn't see you there. You shouldn't sneak up on an old man like that. I'm right in front of you. But maybe you need glasses. Never mind. Well, let's have a look then. Who's this? Maybe I really do need new glasses. <laughs> Beg your pardon, who are you? Oh, no worries, sir. I'm the new- I'm new around this stretch of the wood. I'm a male scout here on official male scout business. Retro, nice to meet you. Egbert. Likewise. Well, don't let me distract you from your work. Okay, see ya. Unless... Unless what? Unless you'd be willing to help an old man out. Like a little side quest. See it as a way to gain experience. Well, our number one rule is to serve the community. Actually, it might be rule 38. <laughs> Anywho. What's the sitch? Da -da -da -da. Gives me Adventure Time vibes with Cottagecore aesthetic, right? Sitch? situation. You youngsters and your slang. Well, my upstairs neighbor is getting on my nerves. Seems to be in the nature of upstairs neighbors. They blast their rock music at the most tiresome hours, like 8pm, and the noise is driving me insane. I'd go up there and speak some sense into them myself, but my knees just aren't what they used to be. So if you'd be so kind, could you hand them this formal letter of complaint? Sure thing, Gramps. Uh, thank you for the trouble. I thought I was supposed to ask you about... Greg. Oh, it's you again. Not yet. Oh yeah, that's what I was doing. I'll be doing that. Much obliged. Damn it. I was supposed to ask you about Greg. Do you know who Greg is? Or where Greg is? You have beats! <laughs> Hello! What are you doing out here? Just delivering some mail. Sounds fun. What are you doing? I'm watching over my turnips. I'm hoping to win this year's Harvest Festival in the I smallest- I am Bibi the Snail, and I bring the thunder and lightning. <laughs> <laughs> Do you? <laughs> it's an interesting claim, baby. <laughs> Met the squirrel's father, so yeah, I guess. Well, no, that wasn't the- that wasn't the- that was a cat. Now deliver his mail. <laughs> I'm hoping to win this year's Harvest Festival in the smallest turnip category. Smallest turnip? Wow, those are tiny. Thanks. They're so little. So small. So tiny. Must protect. Okay, let's see. So your upstairs neighbors are the ones giving you problems. Oh, I'm wa- I can stand on water! Okay, anyway. Let me- What are those hanging on to? Oh, unless they're like little tubes on uh, that are already on strings. They're not just the tubes themselves. I see. Okay, never mind. What? There's somebody up here. Hello? Hi? <laughs> what do you want? I'm a little busy right now. Come back later. Oh, okay. Sorry to bother you. There's a thing up here. Look at me go! This is delightful. Oh! Hey, you got a mohawk! Are you a woodpecker? <laughs> Kudos, kid! That was epic! Clarence! Alright, my man. Thanks! Wait, what? Getting up here without, you know, wings. Wings must be hella convenient. Getting, getting's anywhere is a breeze. 
Or should I say, on the breeze? Ha <laughs> You're funny, amigo. You're one of them male scouts, aren't you? Reporting for duty. So what's the sitch? That's what I said! Huh? When? Oh, wait. I remember. Never mind, I don't. <laughs> well, I was talking to Egbert, and I said, what's the sitch? I can't imagine the look on his face. Must have had that gramp straight flabbergasted. Yeah, I can't say he understood. He told me to hand you this. Blah, 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 noise, music, blah, 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 third strike, official warning. Those sure are a lot of words. Parents immediately gives me a random college kid that adopts you. Same. That's the kind of, that's the vibe. That's the vibe. Love the fungus hat. Right? It's so cute. Too bad I'm not reading them. <laughs> Clarence. There's music in my soul and I just gotta let it out. You feel me? No, that would be unprofessional. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the music thing. Well, I do also enjoy my tunes from time to time. Same, same, pal. But I can't help my song isn't nice and chill. I'm just not like other birds. <laughs> just goofing. Other birds are chill, even cats. Even cats. Who? Don't worry about it. Don't run into him if you're cool enough. So what about Egbert's letter? Oh, just tell him, like, whatevs. Sadly, I can't deliver spoken word. Even something as moving as that. <laughs> well, uh, will this do? This is a used napkin with crayon writing on it. And most importantly, a stamp. <laughs> well, I guess it qualifies as a letter according to the Mail Scout handbook. <laughs> Everybody come and welcome, welcome to the party. Come and welcome, welcome. Isn't anybody welcome, 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 welcome. Hey, goat, welcome in, welcome in. I, I was lurking, so I probably just raided myself. But hi. <laughs> we're playing, we're playing mail time. We're a little mushroom delivery person. I love it. I'm so excited. <laughs> it's been so cute so far. But welcome in, welcome in, everybody. Let's get goat that shout out real quick. The shoutouts have been a little funky lately. I'm not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, for those of you coming in who may not know me, I am Retrobite BT. I am your garden variety Cyclops. I'm a variety streamer. I do a decent amount of games and a lot of art. And today we are playing Mail Time. I brought your lurk home <laughs> back from whence you came. <laughs> well, I appreciate it. It's good to see you, Goat. Uh, but welcome in, welcome in, everybody. I'm happy to have you guys. Goat, if you gotta go decompress after stream, get something to eat, get something to drink, please go take care of yourself. If you have the energy, you're more than welcome to chill. Um, but if not, no problem. Make sure you take care of yourself. And welcome in, everybody. Welcome to the Hyperbite Homestead. Can you save in this game? I don't know. I haven't tried yet. Hold on. I'll be on my way to Egbert. Hold up, second little buddy. Pro tip from the math from the. Claire Meister. Hold A to glide down on the breeze. Nice and chill. Thanks, I'll give it a whirl. I've already been doing that. Gotta break my back and grab a ginger ale. Yee yeah, yeah. Hold on. Um. Yes, there is a save button. Okay, and I have saved for now. So. Good to know. But look at us, we're just a little dude. Just a little mushroom pal. Oh, whoopsie. I gotta go deliver that back to the old man, but before we do that, I wanna see what's up here. Look at that, I'm here with 40k, it's halfway through summer. Hell yeah! Ooh, a little coin! Oh, oh no! What's over there? Whee! Look at this apple. Who's been drawing on the apples? I am wearing my monocle, thank you, baby. God, this is so cute. If I collect all the things before I need them, that'll make things very, like, a lot easier later, I'm assuming. What's that over there? What is? Give. Give to me. Hold on. Whee! Got it. Yoink. Alright, is there anybody else down here? 
Oh, look at the little acorn tea set. Oh, and I will stretch. Hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, that feels better. Thank you. Oh, no, no yawning. I just woke up. I don't want to yawn. Oh. Oh, you have a cute... You have a cute little dress. Cedar? What armor should a postal worker wear? <laughs> Male. Hey, Quiz, welcome in. Look, we're just a little guy. <laughs> I, I, I only went like, you know, we'll see it because I just really shifts and they come in there afterwards. Yeah. So, on a few days when no one was in the house, I think my ex was at home. Yeah. That he was, that he was working, so I was like, oh, I'm stuck with gas for the day. What do we do? How we just literally because we like doing this? Just a shroom, a fun guy, if I may. Yee! Red Dwarf's so good. It, yeah, I, it's so funny. Even the new stuff isn't that bad. It's actually generally quite funny. Cedar? Yes! Oh! I mean, depends. Who are you? I'm Retro the Male Scout. In training. What was that last part? Nothing, nothing. Unfortunately, I have a not-so-nice letter for you from Kiki. Oh, crumbs. Kiki's gonna make a lucky rabbit foot charm out of me. I just know it. Hello, Retro. Sorry, I haven't been in on a bit. Took naps and kind of took a mental break. No, that's totally fine, Kirby. It'd be like that sometimes. Happy to have you. Welcome in. There's so many buddies today. We're a little mushroom guy delivering mail. <laughs> that was phenomenal. Did he just moonwalk off screen? Is that what just happened? <laughs> Why? If you get back his coin collect if you give him his coin collection back, I'm sure this'll all blow over. That's just the thing. I lost all the coins. I'm beginning to see the problem. Such an old clip, holy shit, but it's so bouncy. I met Kiki while he was walking by here, and soon I got my paws on the collection. I hopped off searching for a great spot to admire it, but I didn't realize the bag was still open. Now all the coins are lost, and I have no clue where they are. Can you help me? I'm afraid of what Kiki will do if I don't sh if I want if I show up without them. Fret not, little bun. I'll get those coins back. Oh, thank you so much. There were four coins in the collection. Please come back when you found them all. Uh, I've had a couple coins. How many do I have? Oh, I have, did I only find the one? Okay, so I need three more. Dream Drop is still my favorite cage game. I want to replay it so badly. Oh! <laughs> Thank you for the bits, Fist. <laughs> I don't have text-to-speech for my bits because of people like you. <laughs> Can I jump inside these? But I appreciate the bits. Welcome in, my dude. We're a little mushroom dude. Alright. So, we still gotta go get the letter to the old man. Oh, there's another coin! Was that a- no, that's not a coin. What is that? Takes a speech I've never dropped messages like that. <laughs> okay. I appreciate that. I've had a couple bad run-ins. I love you too much to do that to you. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Sir. Sir, a letter. I have a letter. It says get fucked. Anyway. <laughs> I got a response from Clarence for you. They sent it to... They sent you this. Postage stamp and all. Whatevs. Well, I never. I can't believe that scoundrel. They won't listen. I won't have to es I will have to escalate the situation. I really hoped I wouldn't have to do this. To there, my own st stake, I must file a formal complaint to our landlord. Wow, that's quite the drastic move, my guy. Um, I mean, are you sure, my good client patron, sir? I had hoped it wouldn't come to this, but it must be done. Now, Sticky, on the other hand, my little brother for being a cutie. <laughs> what are the patches for for being a cutie? Oh, I see, okay, my brain. Gotta love they, them, Clarence, hell yeah. Fuck yes. Well, anyway, can you take this to Kiki? You already had it filled out. Well, yeah, they weren't going to listen anyway. Could have saved me a trip up the tree. 
But wasn't that a great learning experience? Sir! <laughs> All I learned from taking to your land, from talking to your land cooler, bureaucracy. <laughs> Surely there's no one of those patches for that. Um, don't fuss about it. With all this experience, you're sure to earn some kind of patch. I'd better. Really? Yeah, no, it was a really cool sake, Mimi. The I think you were here for the the little title screen where you got to make your little character. They let you choose your pronouns, and they had they, them, he, him, and she, her. All right, now where is the where is the the fat cat with the money? There you are. You, I have a letter. Hi. Scram, kid, I'm busy. Unless you've got something for me, don't bother me. You've got mail! A correspondence loyal tenant, Egbert. Who? Squirrely looking feller? Um, he requires your aid in settling a pressing interpersonal dispute. What? Uh, it's a formal noise complaint against Clarence. Oh, uh, okay. Have you ever played a game that managed to squeeze any kind of toxicity out of you? I... No? I don't believe so. Vey Vey. <laughs> Vey Vey, have we, have we played a game that, that managed to squeeze any toxicity out of me? Vey Vey's my younger sibling, so they would know. Go ahead and file it with the rest of the complaints. <laughs> it's just back and forth. Uh. Alrighty. Can I do some bouncing? No, let me up. Let me up! Whee! And this is where you are. Yes. You're here being sassy. You were mean to me. Um, hmm. Where have I not gone yet? I've been over here. Yeah, because there's cedar. I want to go over to the giant, like, there's a giant patch of flowers over there. I'm just do it to me at Battle Royales. Those games do things to you, man. You see, I don't really play, like, I, I, I don't, I'm not very competitive, so I don't do a lot of, like, PvP games, um, unless I'm, like, specifically playing with friends, because people get mad and then I get anxious because I just, I can't do the thing. My brain does, oh, it's a <gasps> bottle cap, bottle cap, mine, got it. I'm not sure, but I know you'll never play a Silent Hill game. <laughs> no, listen, no. That, that was completely circumstantial, and you know that. That was fucking horrible. I booted up Silent Hill on our PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 3, I think it was, I think it was Silent Hill 3. Um, and I remember we had gotten to the hospital scene, and there were, like, little, uh, there, you heard the baby crying. And I said, nope, fuck this, and I turned the game off. <laughs> I was like, I, mm -mm. Cause it was in the middle of the night, why are there bones here? Why are there bones? Bones? Your bones for this. Your bones? Your bones for this. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> I, I remember the baby, thank you. <gasps> it's a bat! <gasps> Look at him! Look at the ears! Oh my god! Look at him! Bone apple teeth. <laughs> Bone apple teeth. Baby, you so right. <laughs> oh, look, a male scout. Oh, your name is Toph! Such an energetic specimen at that. Tell me, scout, what male scout handbook rule number 72? That's easy. If the sender no longer wishes to send mail to be delivered, the postage item must be rapidly destroyed by means of fire. <laughs> Arson. <laughs> If no fire is possible in the area, stomping on the postage item is also acceptable. Did I get it right? Heck if I know. You seem convincing to me. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Can I ask what all your baskets are for? I'm a mushroom collector. <gasps> Don't take my hat. Or, well, experience of mushroom Experience of mushrooms collector. I don't want to have them. I just want to see them. Sketch them. Oh, you're a mushroom observer. A mushroom watcher, if you will. Have a little taste, and then move on. But you only eat the edible ones? All mushrooms are edible. It's a mindset thing. Oh no! Um, Toph? Please? I don't think that's how that works. But you've managed to live this long, I guess. Hear that, Retro? <laughs> no. Bend over the shoulder shrooms. I'm very concerned about the shoulder shrooms. I don't suppose you have a fun little side quest for me here. 
No side quests, no. Sorry. Ah, shucks. Instead, I have a mushion! <laughs> I love tough. I'll shroom our edible at least once. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Calling dibs on the knee shrooms. Those ones are edible. Those ones are fine. BRB gotta work some more. Okie dokie, good luck, baby. Hey, baby has fungus too, Monch. Yes, baby does also have fungus. <laughs> That's a mushroom mission. <laughs> oh my god, I've never had a mushion before. What do I have to do? Look at me, Retro. I'm looking. I am looking with my whole eye. What am I missing? Arms? <laughs> the answer I was looking for was samples from a unique mushroom in the area. <laughs> but sure, you're not wrong. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. Don't be. All you've shown me is you've got working eyes. Anyway, this area, the Grumblewood Grove, is great for mushroom growth, and I want to experience them all. But I'm not as good at sampling them as I am at consuming them. That's where you come in. With your unique skills at finding and delivering mail, you're perfect for the job. Does that make me a mycologist too? Once you collect enough samples, just check that sign next to me for some hints, and we'll go from there. Now be on your way. Okay, see you in a bit! I love the way our little guy talks. He makes me so happy. You're literally grabbing top their lunch, right? I'd like to check the board. Go ahead. Okay, so we don't have any of this. Amethyst Deceiver is a purple mushroom that's swampy soil, probably around somewhere nearby. Purple. Purple? Hmm. I'd like to change my hat. Of course. <gasps> we can pick our mushroom hat. Oh my god. Hold on. I want to see what the green one looks like. Oh, look at it. Oh my god. I'm so happy right now. I wish I could convey how excited I am. <laughs> I want the green one. Yes! Look at me! Okay. Sorry. I'm a look like... I... Uh, oof, goodness gracious. I feel like I'm a little overzealous here. <laughs> uh, purple mushroom. Purple? Purple! Is that it? That one's purple. No, let me in. Purple? Is that the sample? It was in a bottle. Oh! You have TNT and bones. You have dynamite strapped to your back! Hey, hey, hey! His name is Swamp! <laughs> oh lord, I'm happy to see someone. I'm happy to see- uh, I am seeing you, right? Or am I hallucinating? You're not! Irene did warn me about sniffing the gunpowder. But it just smells so good. <laughs> gunpowder? Yeah, you know? Boom! <laughs> you scared me! Swamp rat, swamp rat! <laughs> Don't worry, I'm very experienced with things that go boom. Name Swamp. Boomstick Swamp. <laughs> I love you, Boomstick. Demolition expert of the most elite group of super spe- Oh! I mean, the most elite group of super friends here at Grumblewood. Elite friends? Yes, no further questions. You haven't happened to run into Irene, right? Long, weaselly? Why? No worries if you hadn't spotted her. She's very sneaky after all. She should be in the village eavesdropping. Ahem! <clears throat> saying hi to a certain cat. But anyways, any chance you could give Irene the secret intel? She told me not to leave my station. A letter to deliver? Unheard of. <laughs> what? I mean, we'll do. Oh, one more thing. Our spy group, uh, our friend group, has secret code we say to each other so we know we're talking to. Surely there's other ways of recognizing who you're talking to. Sight, sound, touch, smell. Please don't make me go on. <laughs> well, ours is the best way. When you talk to someone in our posse, you say, remember, we've never met before. Okay, got it. Now go off and chat to Irene. Okay, bye. We're just, it's, this is delightful. I am so, I'm so happy. I should have that purple mushroom now for the, the ooh, can I go in the stump? I want to go in. Hold on. Uh, let me in. Let me in. Let me in. Oh, there's bones in there. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. There's death in here. Let me out. They even update the sprite with the new hat, right? Whee! 
We have to go back to the bat. Is this the purple? Hey, Toph. I've got a mushroom sample for you. Amazing! You can strike it off the, at the board next to here, and I'll make a special hat available for you. Oh, we get hats for collecting mushrooms! We get hats for collecting mushrooms! So now we got a purple one. Wrinkled peach. It looks a bit like a wrinkly pig. It grows near a lot of colorful flowers. Got it. I'm a mush on a mission. Oh, I got stuck by a plant. All right. Uh, Irene, you yelled at me, but I have a letter for you now. So I'm assuming that means you will be just as rude, probably. But oh, look at all the flowers. But these aren't colorful flowers, so these probably aren't where the peach one is, right? Or is it? Is this the peach one? But these aren't colorful flowers. They're all yellow. Hello? Oh! Wow, a well! I wonder if it echoes. Echo! Echo, echo, echo. Oh, no! What is that? There are worms coming out of you, sir. Echo, echo, echo. You shouldn't be here. Ah. <laughs> Excuse me! Retro confirms yellow, not a color. No, I'm saying they're not colorful, you know? Colorful implies that it's full of color, many colors. This is, however, all one color. What? Right? I'm a ladybug. Shoot. I want to make a wish. I need you to fly away. Fine. Hiya. Ribbit. <laughs> it's a frog. Are you a froggy? You can talk, right? Ribbiting is talking. Oops, I mean ribbit. Who are you? Names are irrelevant. Think of me as he who controls the worms. Ribbit. Oh no! <laughs> Do you want to hear a secret? Kind of. Okay, funny well voice. Tell me your very legitimate, very totally real secret. Did you know? Socks antenna aren't real. It's a replica glued onto their head. The real one fell off in a skiing accident. That's some niche knowledge. He who controls the what? <laughs> worm. He who controls the worms. You heard, worm. You got a new boss. How'd you know that? The worms whisper their secrets to me. Ribbit. Worm, don't give him your secrets. Cool. Tell the worms I said hi. Will do. Nice. Okay, bye, boys. Ribbit. <laughs> I work for no one. <laughs> Look at all the flowers. Ugh, it's so pretty. So nice! Oh, there's a little person in here. Oh, no, there's not. It's just more dynamite. Are you trying to explode things? I don't like the miscellaneous dynamite. Purple pinwheel. Oh, okay. So it tells you what the name is after you've collected the sample. I get it. I get it. Okay. Oh. Oh, wait. No, that's where the rat is. I was like, have I been over there? I have. Oh. Foiled. Foiled again. Shit. Hold on. Let me up. Okay, we have to go find the weasel. Diesel weasel. Hello, you, you up there are not being very discreet. Irene? Depends on who's asking. Um, remember we've never met before? Huh? I don't remember a new recruit. Well, explain yourself. You've got mail. Or should I say, uh, secret intel? You shouldn't say that. Oh, sorry. 
Oh, everybody come and welcome, welcome to the party. This is my boomstick. Hey, JJ, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome in, welcome in, everybody. How's it going? Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going, JJ? What were you playing? What were you up to? Tell me the things. Played some Omega Strikers with chat. Ooh, exciting! I still haven't played. I watch you guys play, but I'm not really big on PvP, so I just I just like to watch. I'll appreciate from a distance. The character designs are really cool, though. I really like them. Super fun game with lots of playful banter. Ooh, cool! But yeah, welcome in, welcome in, everybody. For those of you who may not know me, I am Retrobite VT. I I will PvP you, but gently. Thank you. As long as you're gentle. Uh, <laughs> I am a garden variety cyclops, and I am a variety streamer. I do a scattered variety of games, um, and I do a lot of art. It's a lot of art. Um, <laughs> but welcome in, welcome in. Happy to have you. Welcome to the Hyperbite Homestead. Hunker on down with us. Um, JJ, if you gotta do any after stream care, if you gotta go get something to eat, get something to drink, decompress for a little bit, please absolutely feel free. Make sure you take care of yourself. If you have the energy to come hang with us, obviously you are more than welcome. Uh, we are currently playing Mail Time, which is about being a little mushroom buddy and delivering mail. And I love it so far. It's so fucking cute. Butter's bursting right now. Yeah, yeah, shoo, shoo, go. Go do your business. It's important. <laughs> right now, we're delivering secret intel to this weasel. Well, in that case, I have a completely normal letter. From Swamp. Well, that rascal... What's that, what's that rascal doing roping civilians into our operation? Let's see it. Here you go. One top-tier example of a normal letter. Mail time! Mail time! Hi, Kitsy. Nothing secret about it. Hmm, okay. Difficult. I'll have to think about it. what do he say, anyways? Since it's totally not secret and all. Clever one. Well, he asked about his part in my, I mean, our plan. I guess he's getting impatient without instructions. But I'm unsure what to tell him. What do you mean? I'll tell you some other time. But you're in on the grift now, anyway. Try to get some Z's before I get groceries. Um, get here, get some, get the mushroom. Yay, yay, thank you for the lurk, worm. Enjoy your sleeps. Could you run by Kaz for a status update? Top secret. Aye, aye, boss. He's up in that cave near the blue windmill. Curious fellow. Hope he doesn't give you any trouble. That's the, that's the one that Clarence has, has a crush on. Clarence got all blushy when he was talking about Kaz. When they, when they were talking about Kaz. I love mail time. I, it's so cute so far. I'm really excited. I hope so, too. Good luck, recruit. Alright. Uh, there's a ladder up there. Where does that go? Oh, I'm not gonna make it. But I see mushrooms over there. Hold on. I have an idea. Thank you. Okay, so I need to get up there. Hmm. I appreciate you, my little bumblebee buddy. Look at all the flowers. Oh, it's so pretty. Maybe I can go from there. I think I see. Hold on. Whee! Pretty sure if I come over here... Oh, there's another coin! Bottle cap. So this one's a coin. This one's a coin. Oh, we have all four coins. Cedar! We saved your little buddy butt. I'm coming. I'm on my way. Hi, everyone. Hi, Haven. Welcome in. Oh, retro, retro. Do you have all the coins? Yep, all four. Hot diggity dog! You're amazing, fantastic, stunning, breathtaking! Thank you. And I will never forget this. Here, I've written an apology note to Kiki. Could you take that and the coins back to him? Maybe now I can still make it out of this alive. Turns out you're not only a male scout in training, but also a lucky charm prevention service. Seems there's good money in that. This is my first day and I'm already holding a bag of priceless coins. 
Now I'm nervous again. Please bring the note and coins to Kiki, okay? Got it covered, Cedar. Father, I crave violence. I, I'm sure you do. You're gonna have to curb your bloodlust for now, though. I didn't mean to click on you again. Let me out. <laughs> Baby would be great at Omega Striker. <laughs> I'm sure he would. Superior reaction time. I have them. My coins. I guess you are at least a little capable. Here's a note from Little Cedar, too. Let's see what she has to say for herself. Shoot. This, clear, clear, this kid clearly respects me. Not sure why. <laughs> Me either. She obviously loves the coins. Aw, oh, darn it. I'm gonna go do something I said I would never do. Oh, what? Scout this collection. Although priceless, none of these coins are really important. This one, though. This is my favorite coin. My first coin I ever earned. Selling apple juice as a kid. As a kid, I was writing my own letters to deliver. This game art style reminds me of GameCube game, and I'm all for it. Right? It's so nice. Oh, as is Omega Strikers Haven. Which is like an anime soccer. Kinda, sorta. I don't know how to describe it. <laughs> I'm sure that made you rich like my apple juice stand made me. Oh, well. Even though this coin means a lot to me, I shouldn't be gathering dust. It should live on in a new collection. Bring this coin to Cedar. And this letter, too. You know what? Please wouldn't hurt. But I'll do it for Cedar. It could also be Omnipotent Snail. <laughs> you're, no, you're not wrong. Older than me as kids had their own businesses. I own a business. Well, co-own. I co-own a business. Already fully engaged in coming out of trends. <laughs> Give it to me straight, Scout. Will I live to see another day? How about you read this and find out for yourself? Oh, nuts. <gasps> Holy pie in the sky! Did he- did he really- Yep, he did! Retro, I have my first coin! Yippee! What are you gonna name your coin? Are you supposed to name them? I don't know, but it feels right to me. <laughs> well, then I'll name this coin Retro. Oh! <gasps> I'm honored. With the back in my day, we overcame a global pandemic. <laughs> Because you saved me from being turned into a lucky charm. Oh, another thing. Here, take this drawing I made. <gasps> I got a little- Yes! Excellent. Now you have something to remember this by as well. Thanks, Cedar. That's so kind of you. All the thanks are yours. And now I must direct my full attention to retro. Oh, coin retro, I mean. I got that. See you later. Okie dokie. Okay. So. We still don't know where Greg is. Hold on. Do I have another one for the cat? For Kiki from Egbert. I already did that one, I thought. Oh, well, I guess I'll go talk to him again. I could have sworn we did that one. important bye um shouldn't you be invested in the well-being of your tenants kid i've invested in my investments property capital wealth as long as they could pay their rent i could care less isn't it couldn't care less eh could care less suggest you care at least a little bit you're running me around in circles go run in circles elsewhere you want you want a letter to deliver here it's for egbert scurry along shoot huh Bureaucrat patch. <laughs> oh, the bureaucracy. Makes me think of Hermes from Futurama. Let me out. I will not be stopped by a leaf. Hi. 
That cat's gonna get what's coming to him sooner or later. Please don't fight my landlord. How do you respond? Something about how he's a big capitalist egghead. Oh, and he gave me this letter. Oh? Your complaint has been noted. We are looking into it. Until further notice... Di he didn't read the letter, did he? No, I don't think so. Ugh, unbelievable. You know, back in my day, we had manners. Did you? Me? Well, no. <laughs> I was quite the impressive bad boy, if I do say so myself. Oh, dear heavens. Annie, I just remembered. Our anniversary is today. I got so caught up in all this that I let it slip again. It's hard to think straight with all that noise. Could you please take this note to Annie for me? She's over at the farm with Daisy. Sure. And please don't let her know about all this. No problem. Be back in a jiffy. Alright. So apparently we gotta go find the super cool crow. We gotta find Daisy and Annie. And Daisy and Annie should be together. But where's the farm? Oh yeah, that's right. I wanted to get up to that. Up there. How do? Hold on. I remember. I remember I was doing this. Okay. Parkour! Okay, we were already up here, but now I want to go down here. So if we do this, we should be able to reach that, right? Come on. I believe. Yes. I don't know what that was, but I got it. I didn't miss anything over there, did I? No. Okay. What's that? A rock! Got a mushroom sample. Oh! Closed captioning, very accessible. Oh! Thank you, yee! It's a website that I found. It's just a little screen capture that I added to my screen! Oh no. Bouncy mushroom, was not expecting. Oh fuck! Hold on! I just wanted it to be easier for people to be able to understand what I'm saying live, even if it's a little fuckered up sometimes. Okay. I got this. Oh, I got this. Okay. Uh, is there anywhere else to go from here? Or was it, is this the only thing over here? Okay. So where is the farm? Oh, is that over there? Oh, I see it. The windmill. Here, let's get on top of here real quick. I want to talk to the frog again real quick. Do you have more secrets? <laughs> Are you still there, creepy wild voice? Yes. Ribbit. I must tend to the worms. They call for me. Okay, then. Bye-bye. Ribbit. Mr. Well voice? Hello, wormy. How are you? You trailed the target on their daily run, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Quite interesting indeed, thank you. Here's your compensation. Okay. <laughs> Wait, who's the target? Alright, can I make it? Gonna be a tight fit. Let's go! Whee! Cleared it! Oh, look! Oh, you must be Daisy. Daisy! <gasps> You're Annie! Aw, oh, little hedgehog! Hello, dear. I don't believe I've seen you around here before. Care to join us for a cup of tea? Yes! Aw. Oh, no, sorry. I'm on the job. Thanks for the offer, though. The name's Annie. Nice to meet you. My name is Retro. I'm a male scout. Today is my first day. Wonderful. I have a note from your smitten squirrel. Oh, you came all the way from the village. Bless you, honey bun. Ah, oh, my heart! Ah! Uh. This is it. This is how I go. 
Snookums, I was wondering, for no particular reason, of course, which of these gift ideas you would want most. Ah, oh, he's still so dedicated to impressing me, year after year. He's gone to Dracon if you played Spirit Fair. I have not! I want to play it. I think I actually have it on my wish list, but I, ha I don't have it yet. He's gone and tied himself in knots over something that could be so simple. There must be something on his mind. He told me not to tell you. Would you like to? I got you. No, 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 no. I can get, I'll, get, I'll get it later. It's okay. I'm really, like, I do. I really want to play it, though. It looks very cute from the things I've seen. Too late. It's free. No! <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. You told me not to tell you. Oh, malarkey. Tell you what. You tell me what's going through his mind, and I'll give you one of my tied, tried and tested pastry techniques. You know what? You got yourself a fucking deal, lady. That is one baking secrets. I will trade anything for baking secrets. <laughs> That's kind of against our code, but it would help Egbert out in the long run. And helping is in the male scout code. So deal? Deal. It's nothing that juicy, sadly. Apparently Clarence has been bothering him being noisy and such. Oh, I could have guessed. Egbert always gets so irritable when he's got something on his mind. You want to know what always calm that bad boy right down? I'm listening. The cool, intimidating, tough- that cool, intimidating, tough man loves wood carving. I bet Clarence would know where to find some good wood. They must be able to see everything from up there. What if Clarence were to give Egbert a nice piece of wood to carve? It would take his mind off things. Oh, we already got that! Rem remember? Because it said that- yes, okay, we have that. We have that in our inventory. Oh, what a lovely gift a handcrafted labor of love would make. Let's just say that was a hint. I think I've got it all. Wait, what was it again? Let me write it down for you, hon. Aha, <laughs> my heart. <laughs> just deliver this note to Clarence. Aye, aye, Grim Grim. <gasps> Look. Oh, it's tic-tac-toe with bumblebees and ladybugs. I want to make that. I could make that. That wouldn't be hard to make. Hi, Daisy. Hiya! Daisy's my name, running is my game. What's up? Not much, how are you? Actually, can we have a little chat? Sure, what's up? I've seen you running around town. I know some of my kids take a shine to you. Yeah, your kids are really cool. Good job birthing them. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> well, I was wondering. My kids never show me their drawings anymore. I think they might be embarrassed. Or maybe they think I won't like them. But I miss looking at their drawings. Words can't express how proud I am of them. And if you happen to get any of their drawings, could you give them to me? Daisy, this is the cutest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I have a drawing for you right here. Oh, look, it's a coin! Isn't this... that is that coin Kiki has? I'm not sure. Did Cedar draw this? Yep! She got that special coin from Kiki to start a collection. Oh, how kind. I'm glad Cedar has someone to share her coin passion with. We should invite Kiki over for tea sometime as a thank you. Thanks so much for bringing, me this, bringing this drawing to me. I can't talk... are those ladybugs? Hold on, shut up, Daisy. Look, guys, look in the behind. In bo look in the behind, but the distance back there. Is that a ladybug farm? I'm interested. There's a there's an inverted ladybug over there. It's black with red spots. I have to... Daisy, quick. Hurry, wrap this up. I'm gonna pin it up right away. Please <laughs> bring any other drawings you find on your way. Okay, that's cool. Whatever. Bye! Look at their big ol' eyes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh, there's not a thought behind those eyes. You! You, the weird inverted one! Can I, like, sit on your back? Yes! No, sit down! Yes! This is all I ever wanted in life. Oh, to be a little mushroom man sitting on a ladybug. carrots. I don't think- are there any other trinkets hiding over here? That's a really big spade. Okay. Um... Ba -ba -ba -ba. There's another- what's that? Oh, there's something over there. Can I walk on- Oh, it's a mushroom sample. That one's pretty. Are there secrets on top of the cabbages? My cabbages!
My favorite part about collection games like this is I really enjoy like collecting all the things. <laughs> Not my cabbages. I really love collecting all the things before I even need the quest for them, you know? It, it makes me feel accomplished. Is that a snail? Oh, look at him. Oh, he's got arms. That's weird. Okay. I don't much care for that part, but like, oh, hey, here we go. I don't much care for the arms. Why do you have arms? Hmm. Hello. Hi, Donna. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm delivering mail. Oh, that sounds fun. My name's Donna. What's your name? Retro! Great meeting you, Retro. What are you up to, Scout? I'm working on this big delivery. Someone named Greg. Do you know him? Oh no, sorry. I'm pretty new to the area. No worries. Thanks anyways. Bye, Donna. Okay, it's the, where did they say Kaz? Oh, they said by the blue windmill. Fuck, I have to turn around. It's the other way. Foiled again. My attention span. It's failed me. <laughs> Blue windmill. Okay. Blue windmill? Yes. Okay. And they said Kaz was somewhere over by the blue windmill. Is it that way? Or is it like up? Kaz! Kaz! Can I go on the other side of this or is it like a block? Or is it like a proper block? Oh, I can go inside. Secrets. Can I go this way? <gasps> Little paper boats! Oh, hello? Hey, welcome in, Broken Soul. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the ah, Hyperbite Homestead. Oh, and thank you for the hydrate. Give me just a second. Where is my- there it is. I have lemonade today. Don't push yourself, please, anyone. Oh, thank you, Broken Soul. Don't smell me, that's weird. Give me just a moment. I'm fixing something real quick. There we go. I fix it, I fix it. Intense sniff it. Don't sniff me. I smell like dirt. There's little paper boats over here, though. Can we get in the paper boats? I would like to hitch a ride. Look, oh, we can. Take a sit. Sit. Thank you for the head pads, Kitsy. Excellent. Good. Let's see. Your house is flooded. I hope you're aquatic. Or that it was intentional. Oh, there's little drawings! Oh, I love them! Gotta make sure they sign it. That's some really good chalk if it's still going like that underwater. Like cheesy crackers. What's this? What is? Oh. Okay. Can I swim or am I supposed to be avoiding the water like this? Or am I just being a doofus? Oh, I'm just being a doofus. There's a little boat! Do you like it? Oh. <laughs> Was that just a reflection in the water? Oh, it may have been! Okay, yeah, no, my brain just loaded in slow. Do you like it? I go to check myself. Yes, I do. Good job, baby. You did good. I'm gonna go check though, just in case, but I'm pretty sure you're right. That sounds like that sounds like something I would say. <laughs> no, it's forever chalk. Yeah, no, it's a refl Oh wait, no! No, it is in the water! That's not a reflection. And Bebe is the hero who drew it. He is! Like, it's not look, it's not a reflection. It's uh, it's in the water! That's some fucking amazing chalk!
10 out of 10. Bebe blessed it with slime. <laughs> that's, yes, absolutely. That's what happened. All right. So it said that Kaz was over by the... Ah, whoops. What is, it? what is this? Oh, it's a rock. Okay. It looked like a sunflower seed for a minute, and I was like, that is a really big sunflower seed. All right. Let me see. A rock? Yeah, apparently. Doesn't that look like a sun... No, it's a root. Rock and stone. Yes. I want to play that again soon. But look, is this that doesn't that look like a sunflower seed? I see now that it's the root of that tree. But like, okay. So there's the farm. Let me see real quick. I need uh Kaz. How do no? I want to click. Give. Oh, I can't. That's weird. Okay. We'll go back. We'll go back this way because this is the quickest way to get to the bat. We can give Toph the mushroom samples we've collected. Good to me join you, Rocket Stone. <laughs> For sure. I like the last couple times I've played Deep Rock Galactic have never actually been like properly organized or anything like that. They just kind of happen. So I haven't had the opportunity to actually talk with any like anybody to, to play, you know? <laughs> it's always just been kind of like, oh, it's convenient. I can play this right now. Let me out. Let me out! Those are the best sessions, right? Would you stop it? We're unlocking all the hats. One, two, three, four, five. We have five. If you decide to play or when, just scream at me very loudly. I will scream as loud as I can, I promise. What are the new hats we found? New hats, new hats, new hats, new hats. Aw, uh -huh, look at it. Woo, purple. So you have the room, of course. Yeah, yeah. Aw, that one's cute. That one is also very cute. Look at all these- look at all these premium- these are premium hats. How are you supposed to decide? I'm gonna go with the pink one. I like the pink one. Look at him. Boing. Kind of looks like a Bulbasaur, right? What's that? Oh, it's a flower. This game indulges way too much of my what's that energy. Like, there are too many things to see, so much to perceive. Oh, no, I have to talk to him first. Look right here. Halfway through my second energy drink. <laughs> game for you to add to your wish list. What game? Gotta be awake for 36 hours. Oh my god. Smokey, what? Dude. No. There's a free demo from Beta. Ooh. Wait, wait, wait. Are you talking are you about to tell me about Paleo Pines? Or Little Kitty Big City? Oh, okay. I was about to say, I already have Paleo Pines, and I'm really fucking excited about it. be right up your alley. Okay, I gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, DM that to me so I don't forget. Please. What's crack a lag in? Hi, <laughs> Clarence. You ever gonna run out of the opening lines? Maybe. No promises. What you been up to? You first. Aight, as you say, boss. I've been jamming and pecking. Slamming my head into some wood. Really dig wood, like the tree kind. How do you dig wood? <laughs> dig as in like basically I love woodpecker like shaping wood with my beak face first what are we talking about again a letter yes ta-da here it is from Annie really took the scenic route huh well let's see here Egbert likes wood carving shh 
You say it louder for the critters at the back. <laughs> oh, sorry. But that's wild. He digs wood too? Epic. Oh, Scout, hold on. What? I'm having a power thought. <laughs> I know, just the thing for wood carving. There's an apple tree around here. It has the best wood. See if you can grab some sticks from nearby and bring it back here. I think I already have it. Scout! There you are. It's me! It is. <laughs> and what's more, I got the goods. Or should I say, wood. <laughs> I love this game so much. <laughs> Sleep schedule will be demolished beyond repair. That, you know what? That's fair. That sounds like a good game. Have you heard of Turnip Boy Commits Tax Evasion? I've heard of it. I actually have several friends who have played it, but I haven't played it myself. A single brain cell hit the idea button. <laughs> Loving this dialogue. Right? See... I can tell it's funny, but somehow I don't feel like laughing. Oh. They can't all be zingers, pal. That's just how it goes sometimes. I suppose. Well, anyway, here it is. Let's take a good look at this tiny timber. Soft enough to carve, hard enough to hold small details, even wood grain. Yep, this is top-notch log right here. Really? Yep. Egbert's gonna dig this unlike anything he has ever dug before. I better bring it to him quick then. Time to put the pedal to the metal. I have no pedals, nor metals. Oh, well then, delivering this wood will have to do. Good luck, little buddy. <laughs> I have no pedals, nor metals. I relate to this little guy so much. <laughs> this is how I talk to my friends. He shakes his head and sounds like peanut rattling in a tin, and I love him. <laughs> did you get word from Annie? What did she say? Did she reveal what she wanted? Oh, I hope it wasn't too obvious. Uh, don't you think Annie might appreciate something handmade? A labor of love, if you will. Oh, lordy lord, I haven't even thought about that yet. Oh no, will she just think I'm lazy if I just buy her something? I think she doesn't mind at all. She's lovely. Isn't she? She's a delight. I'm a lucky man, she stuck with me this long. You know, on my way back, I was taking a stroll through the woods and found this beautiful piece of wood. Clarence said it would be perfect for wood carving. Oh sure, what would Clarence know about wood carving? They're actually quite the avid woodworker themselves. I'll be the judge of that, hand it over. Soft and supple enough to carve, hard enough to hold small details, a fine enough to even wood grain. It's gorgeous. Clarence really knows their wood, huh? It's too pretty, though. I don't know if my old hands would do any good. Do you think this could make a good anniversary gift? I think you'd make a wonderful anniversary gift out of it. No matter the craftsmanship or technique, your care will always show through. I think I know what I want to make for Annie. Thanks for your help, Retro. Before you leave, you to it. Any chance you would know where I could find Greg? Greg? That's a name you don't hear a lot nowadays. Real old-timer of the forest. Haven't seen the old slugger around in a bit. If the Greg ends up being the frog, I'm gonna be so mad. <laughs> Usually comes and goes as he pleases. Wouldn't know where to point you at any more certainty than a guess. Uh, I guess I'll keep asking around. I'll deliver this letter eventually. I'm sure you will. Is, the, is Greg the fucking frog? I'm gonna be so mad if Greg's the frog. Oh, I have the, the telescope lens. I'm oh sorry, I was looking at the bunny and I was like, Cedar? No, that's the other that's the other one. It's the other rabbit. The one that's back at the beginning. Over there. There you are. I'm on my way. I'm running, sprinting. Check it out, Snowdrop. Do you think this lens would fit? It looks perfect! Oh my gosh, the telescope works again. Thank you so, 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 so much. I have to go to sleep right now. Huh? Why? At daytime, which means the stars are sleeping. If I sleep now, I'll be wide awake later when the stars are awake, too. Oh, one more thing. Here's a drawing I made as a thank you. Hope you like it. Aw, it's cute. Anytime anyone gives me art, I save it forever. I love them. Aw, that's so sweet. Thank you, Snowdrop. <laughs> Snowdrop? She fell asleep standing up. Talent. <laughs> Sleep tight, Snowdrop. The stars will be happy to see you again tonight. That was adorable. I loved everything about that interaction. Okay. So let's go give this little doodle to Daisy. Oh, wait. This way, right? Ah! Let me out. Let me out! Okay. Again, I, I swear, if Greg is the frog, I'm gonna be so, like, oh my god. Hello, snail! Oh, hey, Retro. You have a second drawing for me? Sure do. 
Oh my, it's the stars. It's so beautiful. Stars are in the right spots, too. Let me guess, did Snow drop her all this? She sure did. What a great kid she is. The most, Not the most social, but very passionate. Thanks so much for bringing it to me. This one is getting pinned up right next to the first. Please drop by if you get another. Gotcha. Where is the bird? Oh, look! Honey! I lo I've lost the bird! Oh! Oh! I think I'm supposed to be up there. Hold on, hold on. I think I'm understanding. Up that way. So I need to be up there. How do? How do I get up here? Oh, it's a bike! Made of buttons. Probably not the most functional, but it's, it's the heart that counts. That's the well. Oh, I love walking through these. This is so pretty. Okay, so how do I get up there? I've already been up that point, or do I need to go up from there? Hmm. Hold on. The wheels are turning in my brain. Just not very quickly. <laughs> okay, so let me see. If I do this... If I make my way over there again, can I go up? Oh, there's another bridge. I see it. Where is it coming from, though? Over there. Hold up. Oh, okay. I think I got it. I think I understand. I think I get it. Hold on. Oh. The risk I took is calculated, but I'm bad at math. Hold on. Alright. I need to get up. I require a piece. I'm trying to remember how I got up the first time. <laughs> there we go. How pretty! Oh, it's a worm! Hello? Senior Wiggles, come out! Look how pretty! Oh, these look like hyacinths. Hyacinths are like, they're not my favorite of all flowers, but like the smell. It's one of my favorite smells is hyacinth. The target must be nearby, right? A charcuterie board? Oh my god, don't make me hungry. No, I haven't eaten today. Please, I'm, so, I'm gonna get so hungry. Oh, look at all this. Oh, is that a hamster? Are you a hamster? You must be ham. Ham I am. Oh, I love you. My name is Ham and I like jam. I also like working out, reading, and long jogs on the beach. But those don't rhyme with my name. <laughs> what a shame. Doesn't rhyme with his name. Who is to blame that his loves do not rhyme with his name? Such a pain. <laughs> and also lame. Okay, Shakespeare, rein it in. <laughs> oh, sigh. <sighs> <sighs> what is it, Ham? I am simply so bored. Bored of my favorite food. That's all? I mean, go on. <laughs> Ever since I was a little hammerino, I've been chomping blueberries and cheese like there's no tomorrow. It simply slaps tremendously, <laughs> and now it slaps no more. <laughs> the slapping has ceased. I feel stale and old and hungry. <laughs> no purpose to live anymore. Not the slapping. The slapping has ceased. Oh, I love this. And now it's not so bad. This means your taste buds are changing. A new combo will pop up that tastes amazing. I am ham. Ham is me. Oh my god. <laughs> You'll feel whole once again. You're right, Scout. I should take this as a chance to refine my palate. Tried the taste of the town. Kaz probably has good taste. He's an artist. 
If they know what colors go together, then maybe he knows what flavors go together too. That logic checks out. I just had jello that reminded me of church juice. Oh no, not Welch's Jesus juice. I love him, right? Let me jot that down in a letter. Here, could you take this to Kaz? He's in that purple cave you'll find. Can't wait for five star recommendations they'll have. Sure thing, Ham. I'll be right back. Look at all this food, though. This is making me- Oh my god, I'm so hungry. Okay. Can I get in the trash can? I must return home. <gasps> oh my god, it's a caterpillar! Oh, it's another worm! I saw you! I saw you, motherfucker. Get out of there. <laughs> Hello! <laughs> Approach. Quiet. Fastly. What's happened? No big talkie time. Worms listening. Worms? Socks run today. Daily run. Thanks for the context. This time. Trash everywhere. Yuck. No yuck. Delicious. But now, danger. Worm hide in trash. Listen to Socks' private conversations. Illegal. Cannot allow. <laughs> destroy trash. Destroy worm. Comprende? Let me get this straight. There's trash all around. See? You think there are worms living in the trash? Spying on you. No, only socks. All not only socks, all grumbly wood. Public service whole forest. Socks need privacy. Socks know many dangerous secrets. Cannot risk data leak. Right, right, of course, naturally. Five trash bits. Bring here. Socks dispose. Evidence gone. Happy end. Okay, I'll get you the five pieces of trash then. Leave. Return only with trash. Okay, okay. See there he is, there's another worm. <laughs> Okay, so what kind of, like this? Okay. Give, give trash. There's that one. So I guess we'll just have to keep an eye. Oh, there's, that's probably one up there. Oh, how do I get up there? There's somewhere higher up that I have to come from? No. Okay, I think that's our third piece of trash. Oh! Oh no! Oh no! Let me just- I just want to stand on the wine glass! Oh god! Stop jumping! Retro, why are you like this? <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> I got this. Oh, I was so close! Oh, that's bullshit. Yo, bite. Hey, Muse, welcome in. What's up? Glide. I'm trying! Oh, fuck. I am here. You are here! Welcome in. It's good to see you. No! Oh my god, I'm so close. Let me in! And no longer working. Oh! I am getting- I'm so- I'm getting so mad. Hold on. <laughs> Not mad mad, but like frustrated. Give me your secrets. Is there another way up there maybe? Is there a bouncy thing that I don't see? I mean, there's that- that over there maybe. Did you go to work today, Muse? Is that what it was? Did you have a good day? Oh, damn it. Aw, oh, man. No, the hyacinths. Excuse me. Oh, not the worm again. Get out of here. Check DM. I, uh, give me a... Uh, the, the, the... Hold. <laughs> Take your time. Okay. I was like, I was like, wait, wait, is it important? Because I'll freak out. <laughs> Is there any way to get further up? I know we can bounce on that little mushroom cap. Hold on. I want the battery. Oh. Dang it. It's such a cutesy game, isn't it? It's adorable. How do I get up there? I require 
large uppies. I, I want to be up there. What the fuck? Oh, one second. I want a chef's kiss the art style of everything in this game. Right? It's so pretty. I really love these high... Uh, I don't think they're snowdrops. I'm pretty sure these are... These might be hyacinths? They're the same shape. Also, I have hydrated. Thank you very much. I just want to be up. I want to go up there. Why are you not letting me? There's gotta be another way to get up then, right? Okay, so we have another one of those. How- how do? See, when I said- when they said, like, around colorful flowers, this is what I was thinking. All of these. I got it! Ha <laughs> ha! Bitch. Worm. Oh, worm. And now eat it. Not the battery. Good job. Thank you. Also, I'm sorry, Muse. That's ass, dude. cute little windows. This looks cute, doesn't it? Hi, T! Muse, can you shout T out for me, please? I have two letters for Cass. Looking for another one, anyway. Yeah, you know, that's fair. Is the cave over there? They said that Cass is in a purple cave. Oh, it's just S-O. You don't have to do the full name. I mean, the full shout out. It's exclamation point S-O. Don't you pout at me. We support the homies in this chat. There's bamboo. Thank you, Muse. <laughs> you want your horror horror belly? Alright, alright. Are, are you guys ready for this? This is about to be the best aura aura. Look at all the bamboo. Ever. ever. Are you ready? Alright, I'm gonna stretch it to sit up straight. Is this like a Zen garden? Love in my heart, I pouted you. Yeah, whatever. Thank you. <laughs> this mushroom looks like it's made out of denim. Denim, denim, denim. Denim, denim, denim. Oh, hello? Hey, welcome in, Thero. Therosh? Thero? Such a powerful horror, <laughs> right? <laughs> welcome in. Welcome to the Hyperbite Homestead. Happy to have you. Hold on. I feel like I need to do this real quick. Chat, 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 chat. Chitty, chitty, chat, chat. The new alerts are too cute. Thank you. They're on the wrong layer, apparently. I need them to be over the chat, not under the chat. So I'm trying to find that real quick. It's very soft, isn't it? Kitsy. Yeah, did you see the little apple guy? I love him. Where did my chat go? I lost- oh, there it is. I found it. Never mind. I say, I lost the chat! <laughs> Very soft. No longer dial-up noises. Yes! Okay. Let me see here. Where are we? Ah. <laughs> ah, yes. The pit of despair. <laughs> Look. 
Look at all the- look! It's the- <laughs> it's the forbidden corn dogs. These are cattails. What is that? Oh, it's a dewdrop. It's just a little drop. Okay. It was shiny for a minute, so. These are cattails. Ah. They're just golden russet groupings, so you really shouldn't eat it. But even so, me want bite. Me want plant corn dog delight. Uh. Frog! <laughs> Hi, Jim. I've been expecting you. Wow, really? Hey, can you help me find Greg? Yes. Yes! Wait, no. Not again. <laughs> well, I could. Huh? I just thought you were here to listen to my enchanting song. Maybe deliver me a recording contract. No, I'm really just here for Greg. Greg is my best bear friend, but he's always stealing the spotlight. Oh, Greg! Okay. We, well, now we know he's a bear. That helps. First one that's not surprised at the fact I have a friend. What? Oh, Jim. It's okay, buddy. It's okay. Nice. Well, where is he then? Should be easy to remember if he's your best friend. Well, he's just a hop, skip, and a jump over yonder, for me at least. Someone of your stature, it's how to put it more complicated. Is that a short joke? Rude. Well, no, it's just Greg lives in a cave in a difficult to reach area. You need to do quite some aerobics to get up there. Jim is a swell creature. He is. Oh, I need to update that. I forgot. I'm not sure you're a real male scout. You have to have at least 14 of those male scout patches. Oh, I don't have that many yet. I still need three more patches. Well, then probably get those first. Do you know how? Yeah, I see it in my handbook. List all the patches, what to do to get them. Coolio! At least get three more patches and come back to me. I'll be expecting you. So the purple cave is in fact not up here. Which is a bummer. Oh, bounty. Mushroom sample. My memory would make me loathe this game. Well, I mean, like, they keep it. They keep track of all of it for you in the start screen. I just haven't been going to it because I remember. Look at these cute little houses. Do they have a map? Um, I don't know. I guess not. I haven't been. I haven't looked for one because I haven't needed it. I'd love this game. I'd forget where everything is. That is totally fine. Totally fair. I can't talk. Is Jim the only one up here? Where is the purple cave that Kaz is in? I have to be missing something. Oh, is that a capybara? It's a capybara! Third, I didn't know you were here. He followed me. He followed me. Hello. I'm a capybara. Cool. Sure looks like it. But that's not all. Oh, I'm a sad capybara. No. What's got you feeling unhappy, Bara? My hat. It's gone. I feel incomplete without it. What does that hat of yours look like? It's round and orange. It smells kind of like citrus. So it's a small orange? No, it's a hat. My hat. Are you sure it's not an orange? Yes, an orange is a fruit, and this is a hat. But if it helps you think of my hat as an orange, you can consider it an orange. But it's not an orange. It is a hat. Okay. I'll have to go look for an orange-shaped hat. Is that a capybara? It is. I'll let you know if I find anything. Thank you, thank you. If you need me, I'll be here having a nap. So that I can at least wear my hat in my dreams. See you later. So we have to find an orange. I'm guessing it has to be a particular orange. 30 possums in a trench coat. I love your username, but welcome to the Hyperbite Arc- <laughs> Oh my god, my brain. I'm so sorry. I'm lagging today. Ah! 
Welcome to the Hyperbyte Homestead. Happy to have you. Welcome in. Thank you for the follow. How'd you find me? Hey, I found your orange hat. Not orange totally hat. Max! Hmm? Are you awake? Oh, yeah, yeah, I am now. What's up? What up is your hat? Because it goes on top of your head. Get it? Because your head is up. No, never mind. Your hat! Ta-da! My hat! Thank you, thank you, thank you! I'll never lose it again. It's an easy hat to lose, I must admit. With it being so similar to oranges. Nuh-uh. You found my one hat out of the billions of oranges. Obviously, it has a distinct hat energy. Sure, we'll chalk it up to that. And not my supreme searching skills. Thanks again, Retro. Whatever I wear my hat, I'll think of you now. The highest honor. See ya, Max. See ya, Retro. There we go. And now it's a hat! Look at him! I love him. I would die for Max. Alright, so where is Kaz? They said Kaz- they said he he's in a cave. They said he's in a purple cave. What does that even mean? Maybe I need to go over here? Hold on. Okay. A purple cave. We gotta be missing something. There's no way. Purple cave. Purple cave. They said by the purp there's a purple cave by the windmill is what they were saying. But I don't see a cave anywhere. The windmill's there. The only place for a cave would be like up there or over here. But she said there is a cave, but it's the bear cave. Hmm. I guess let's go see if we can find the gum wrapper and then we'll go back to Irene and ask again because I might just be forgetting what she told us. Could've sworn she said purple cave by the blue windmill. Hi, socks. Retro got trash? I do. Here you go. Finally. Retro useful. The thanks? It was a good idea to clean up the trash. The forest looks a lot nicer now, don't you think? What if? So, what are you gonna do with the trash? First check for worm traces. After, destruct. Maybe swamp, help. rat owes me. But early it sounded like you like eating trash. Yes. Trash good flavor. No good for socks long term. Especially not worm trash. Give socks stupid worm brain. <laughs> Why laugh? Socks never less than deadly serious. When trash gone, hunt new trash. Worm boss. Socks know he nearby. Socks smell him. Who's the worm boss? Better if Retro not get involved. Socks only have one thing to say to Retro. Oh? Despite annoying, Retro big help. The th th thanks. <gasps> thanks. Now never speak of this again. Of course, my lips are sealed. What Socks just say? Retro not big in brain department. Speak over now. Time Retro leave. Okay, bye Socks. Damn, dude. Rude. Oh, hi, Worm. He's not running away this time. Are you the boss, Worm? Retro, not big in brain department. I mean, you're not wrong. I just want to hop on your head. I got it! Yes! Haha, -ha, I stand upon the Worm boss. Get fucked. Um, seriously though, where would a purple cave be? He just sits down on top of the worm's head. <laughs> okay. Let's see. God, all this food looks so good. Look, it's a little milk. 
I guess we can go give Toph the new mushrooms and keep looking. I will go talk to the frog for a second, though. Regarding your worms. You there, Mr. Wellvoice? No. What if I keep asking? No. Okay. Fine, I guess. We're looking for the purple cave, and that's where Kaz should be. But I can't find Kaz. We have three mushroom samples left. Oh, look at that one! Oh, that one is also cute. Ooh! I think I like the pink one. The pink and green is just a really good com color combo. You know, Cosmo and Wanda. Okay. So there's the rat. But where is... Where the fuck is the bird? I'm gonna have to go ask Irene again, I think. Because I really... I like... I can't find him. cats. That's for me to know and for you to find out. To never, ever, ever ask about again. Oh. See that status update from Kaz. He's stationed in the cave near the blue windmill. The cave near the blue windmill. You see, we were over near the blue windmill, but where's the cave? Hmm. Am I blind? Because that's very possible. So here's the blue windmill. Hmm, cave. Cave? Cave. Annie, is there a cave over here? You're just who I was looking for. Really? What a coincidence. I need to ask you a big favor, hon. How big? Like gravel big or stone big or rock big or boulder big? Actually, not that big. I need you to deliver a letter from me to Haley. Heck yeah. Lucky for you, that's my expertise. But... It's a secret letter. You can't let Haley know I sent it. Annie, the suspense! Please tell me what's in it. It's just some things I think she needs to hear. What kind of things? Like good things, bad things, funny things, scary things, retro? Less imagination, more mail delivery. Please, no one wouldn't ask unless it was important. She's the nervous type, and I happen to know there's something big on her mind. I hope this will help her calm her nerves and let her do what needs to be done. Okay, fine. I'll do my job. Quietly. Thank you, honey bun. Oh, my heart! <laughs> Now run like the wind. Bring my anonymous note to Haley. Whoosh! I, the, the dialogue in this game is so fucking good. But it says cave near the blue windmill. There, Here is the blue windmill. What is... Where is cave? I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora... Oh, is it behind the waterfall? Hold on. Wait a minute. Is it behind the waterfall? Because that would be super cool.
Hey, it is. Look at me. Oh, it's pretty in here. Oh, ooh, look. Oh my god. Look how pretty. Look how pretty it is in here. Ah! Oh, I love it. Here's another mushroom sample. Oh, this is so pretty. Pat, you made socks out of candy. <clears throat> Look at your cape. Oh, you're awesome. Please don't be rude. Like, please stay awesome, because right now I've decided that you're awesome. Don't prove me wrong, please. This is, this is great. My, my, my! That outfit is ingenious! Such a bold use of color! And that hat color with your hat, parfait! Oh, thank you! I chose it myself! Well, you must style me one day. The name's Kaz. I like you. My name is Retro. You have a letter from Hank? Him? I know Swamp and him get along. My friend's friend is therefore my double friend. <laughs> or sworn enemy. Potentially true. But today I choose to be friends. No, I said your food shall become my food. <laughs> Do you have a crumb of context for me? He's wondering what your favorite food is so he can try new things. Ah, pursuing culinary arts. I would love to support this endeavor. One of my favorite foods is chocolate. What really elevates chocolate, though, is coffee. Gladly drink coffee at any hour of the day, regardless of chocolate. <laughs> So it might be a little because of that. Here, I have a piece of chocolate for you. And for coffee, I only have some beans right now. Chocolate and coffee, gotcha. You can just eat the beans, right? Well, yes, but then we're all set. Thanks, Kaz, gotta run now. Gonna take this co food combo to hand. Oh, okay. Kaz, greetings. I love Kaz. Uh, remember, we've never met before. What now? Super secret passcode? Oh yeah, sure. Hello, fellow super spy. <laughs> How's this work progressing? Irina sent me with a letter and wants a status report. Oh, mon dieu. My dear. It is not progressing in the slightest, I fear. What do I say? That you're done with the work? Oh, no, no, no. I could never outright lie to the commander. Oh, you seem to have been quite busy. It's all trash. Trash, I tell you. <laughs> nothing worthy, nothing perfect. Perfect? What does it have to be perfect? I, what? It's just a work in progress, right? The sketch isn't immediately a finished piece. Well, yeah, thank you! I guess I do have more than enough sketches. See? That's not nothing. I'm pretty sure that's what we call- what we in the biz call something. <laughs> Alright, fine. Oh no, they're adding me, right? Seriously. You can show this sketch to Irene. And please assure her the final product surely won't be like that. Don't worry, I'll be sure to remind her. I shudder at the thought of her judging eyes. Quick, get that shoddy illustration out of my sight this instant. Hey there, Kaz. Salutations. Remember we've never met before? It's okay, Retro. I think I trust you. What are you here for? I'm not sure. Did I have to deliver something? Yes, I gave you- Oh, right. Okay. I was making sure- I just wanted to talk to them again. Kaz is delightful. Books. This is so nice. Ugh, I would decorate my whole room like this if I could. But I also want it filled with, to the brim with plants. Ugh. Decisions. I'm kind of mad I didn't check behind the waterfall before, though. I was getting so frustrated. Put a hedge in your room and trim it to look like baby. <laughs> Praise the snail. I don't think a hedge would survive in my room. Okay, so I need to go to Irene. The 
think I need to talk to anybody like multiple times. Reporting back after my long and arduous journey. Ah, uh, recruit, you made it. How'd it go? It took a bit of convincing, but I returned with the progress report. You managed to get your hands on one of his sketches? A rare sight. You must really have a way with words. Or some quick fingers. It took some convincing, and he told me to give you a disclaimer. Ah, oh, mon dieu. It is but a sketch and not representative of the final work. Something like that. Felt like I was back in the cave for a second. Final work, this, masterpiece, that. I don't think I've ever seen those elusive finished pieces he talks about. I know it was risky working with him, but I wanted to give him a benefit of the doubt. I kind of want to see one of those masterpieces after all. Must be really something the way he talks about it. You'd think so. I hope so. At least I have one reliable confidant. Swamp? No, I, meet you. I met you. Ugh, I still don't know what to do with Swamp. He's eager to help. I know, I just don't know what to assign him to. One piece of advice, working with friends is difficult. Maybe that's why Janet's like that. She just likes me so much. I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> anyway, could you go deliver this to Swamp? I should have at least keep it, I should at least keep him updated with our current progress. Aye aye, boss. Onward. Oh, the 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 goose, the the turnip goose. You, where are you? The one trying to grow tiny turnips. Where are you, ma'am? I have a letter. Here you go. Oh, fiddlesticks. Penny for your thoughts? Oh, it's just, it's just a case of just, ugh, never mind. I can't even get the words out. That's okay. Words are hard. Yeah, fucking right. I'll just skip the ones you don't want to say. What's on your mind? Uh, don't worry. That's a personal matter. What you've got for me, little scout? I have no idea. But it's an envelope, right? Yeah. But inside it, who knows? Not me. You'll just have to roll the dice on this one. All right, here goes. Who gave you this? No one. But also, what's in it? I'm really curious. <laughs> the letter's saying I need to drum up the confidence to do what'll make me happy. I'm not, it's not a bad idea. I just think I'm a bit in over my head. I would like to formally request that you spill the beans immediately. <laughs> that sounds like something T would say. <laughs> All right, but only because you asked so nicely. I, um, I have a crush. What? On Donna. Oh! <gasps> And I kind of want to ask her out. Oh! You seem a bit breathing. You seem to be breathing a bit uh, rapidly. Love quest! How do you want to do it? What's the plan? What do we need? Well, that's the problem. I want to give her something special to show I care in a special way. But I'm not sure what to do yet. Let me have a think. Come back in a bit? Yep. Okay, okay. Yep, I can wait. No problemo. Gay snail, gay snail, gay snail, gay snail. <laughs> it's like gay goose as well, but gay snail is just more fun to say. Two more mushrooms. We have the Scarlet Elf Cup. Uh, pink with red on the end. Oh, I remember! I saw this one! We saw it at the very beginning. It didn't have a sample over it, though. I'm back from Noms. Welcome back, Mark! Red Cage. I've already looked around this swamp, but it's not in this area. Looks like a red cage has these flies around it. It smells really bad. Oh, I see. I'm so sweaty. Ah! Phew. What's that? Ah. Close bin. Beep beep delivery for swamp with an A? That's not you, right? I guess I can't deliver it then. No, no, no. Gimme, gimme. Who is it from? Is it, you know, Intel? 
of the secret variety. Ding, 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 we've got a winner. I really wanted to give you a progress update. A sketch from Kaz? How'd you get this, intimidation? Threaten his shiny trinkets with some boom booms? Some kind of words never hurt anyone. Is Kaz in need of some cheering? They're in luck, I'm, a big, I'm his biggest fan. I don't know the first thing about art. I just know that his colors always make me feel a bit happy inside. They are very pretty. Like looking up at the twinkling stars. Oh, you talk just like them, like a poem. I don't understand him half the time, but I should visit them again sometime. Sadly, I'm not allowed to leave my post. Whatever shall I do? You can write, right? And you can deliver mail, correct? <laughs> you can deliver mail! <laughs> wow, you come up with the most creative solutions. Could you go deliver this to Kaz? I'll scale from yes to no how secret is this intel. Huh? Never mind, got a blast! <gasps> oh, blasting, that I understand. Blast away. <laughs> Okay, now I have to get back up to the hamster. But I'll go give this to Kaz first, because he's easier to get to. So heckin' cute, right? I am smitten. This game is, is just... Ugh. I love it. The music is nice, too. I really hope it doesn't end up like my Potion Craft stream. We tried to play Potion Craft the other day, and, like, they muted the majority of my of my stream because of the background music. Because it's copyrighted by Potion Craft. Is that not really weird? Like, <laughs> Yeah, right? It was like, yes, I'm aware it's a Potion Craft song. I'm playing Potion Craft. But I had to straight up, like, delete it, because there was only, like, maybe ten minutes total of that entire stream that wasn't muted. I have an album available. I guess so. Mon dieu, back so soon? Oh, no, no, no. I do not have a lick of work to show this time. Over my cold feathers will I show another sketch. I get goosebumps from the word. Wouldn't that be crow bumps? Crow? I'm not just a crow, but a raven. Behold my raven black feathers, not to mere crow black. I mean, beside all the paint, they're surely black. Anywho, I come from the swamps. Explains the smell. Unnecessary. Well, you smell like paint. I do? What happened to my light vanilla aroma with a touch of rose and lavender? Long gone. Anyway, I have a letter from Swamp from the swamps. He can write? <laughs> That's fucking rude. That's mean. You expect him to draw you a picture? Well, he has before. I still have them hanging on my wall. Aww. They're so pure and intuitive. I wish I could grasp some of that curiosity. The colors always make me feel a bit happy inside. Did you help him write this? That he wrote himself. Mon petit yore. The colors are also- The colors also make me happy inside. Then why not just paint the colors? A masterpiece can come second. I think I would like to try that. It surely ain't a masterpiece. But I don't think it has to be. That's the spirit? You should trot along and show it to Irene. Before I get the doubts. I think in the meantime I might go paint some more colors. Okie dokie. Smell you later. Hey! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> -ha. Oh wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. They're committing fraud. <laughs> the painting, the underwater one. You can see it underwater in the pond just by the mushrooms. Perhaps your enjoyment will make ruining of my fabulous cape worth it. <laughs> oh yeah, I saw that one. I just noticed the bumblebee buddy. Oh my god, right? He's just a little guy! We named him Benson. That's Benson the bumblebee. Benson. <laughs> Benson Bumblefuck the fourth. <laughs> That's okay. That one's kind of my new favorite. <laughs> this is Benson Bumblefuck. Uh, hold on. Let's 
Barry B. Benson. Oh, you know what? That's also fair. I completely forgot that that movie exists. Like, that's not where my head wants. And the B stand for Bumblefuck. <laughs> Barry Bumblefuck Benson. I feel like we need one more mushroom, right? I don't remember where it said it would be, though. Oh, it's you again. Scout didn't want an autograph. Well, I'll show you when I win the running championship. Six weeks of my autograph. Okay. Nope, tortoises are super slow. Everyone knows that. But don't worry about that. Because I lean mean running machine is 100% bona fide turtle. <laughs> At least I, that's what my dad said. Oh, well, in that case, does this turtle often win races? Eh, no, not yet. I've really been pushing myself, but I don't think I'm going to get good enough to in time for the race. Daisy the hare always wins, and even though we're best friends, I don't know, I guess I don't want her to think I'm struggling. But socks always get second, so they must know something. It's because they have a million legs! Just gotta be some kind of trick to running that I haven't figured out yet. Can you take this letter to Socks? It's a fake note, just a friendly check up on the competition. But really, you'll interrogate them and get all the trade secrets. Sound like a plan? A uh, bit of a harebrained scheme, more like. Speaking of hairs, why don't you just ask Daisy for advice? Eh, maybe later. For now, here's a letter to Socks. Come back when you have all the secrets a runner could ever need. Ah, secrets. I'm trying to think what the other mushroom we needed was. Oh, right, no, I made it a thing today. If so, if, um, tomorrow we are starting the, uh, the Donathon that I'm going to be hosting, where we're going to be playing a lot of games and we're going to have um, interesting rewards and prizes and shit like that and I keep forgetting to advertise it and I'm so sorry. However, <laughs> that does start tomorrow <laughs> around 11 a.m. EST. Ta-da! Shh! What's this? A masterpiece from Kaz? I assume it's up to your standards in that case. It's better than I dared hope. How did you... I think you should promote Swamp to Team Mascot. He really managed to lift some spirits. Exciting, wishing you the best of luck on that. Thanks, I'm really nervous. <laughs> I'm excited, but I'm nervous. I knew those two would get along. I should have let them work together. I was scared Swamp would distract Kaz. Maybe not everyone is as self-reliant as me. No need to be self-reliant with friends like these. They want to make this work just as badly as you. Even if it weren't as sure about how to go about it as you. Uh, by the way, all this very non-secret intel, what's it all for? You're not liable if you're unaware. I'm not sure that's how the law works. That's okay, I avoid working with the law. <laughs> Wait, what? How strict is your relationship with the law? I always take a sip from Janet's drink when she makes me get it for her. Oh, you're a real scoundrel. <laughs> how do you feel about the male-related crimes? The worst kind. Worse than stealing a sip? Yeah, probably. Worse than being greedy? Is stealing a sip greedy? Maybe a bit unsanitary, but it's, but it's for survival. <laughs> yeah, I think greed is probably worse. What were we talking about again? Swamp Kaz and I have made a letter for that cat. He's a very greedy cat. And we thought we should t uh, lighten his pockets a little. Oh, like stealing. Shh. Let's say we're taking a sip from his wallet. It's for our survival and he's still got the whole cup. And he also made other people get his drink. He didn't make it himself. Oh, if you could just deliver this letter to Kiki the cat real quick, that'd be grand. On it, boss. Oh, we're an accessory to, to thievery, I see. Delivery for Mr. Cat From the bank uh, The bank of Grovewood Grumble Bank, give me that mm, Blah 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 Deposit waiting for me You got a pen for me, kid? I'm a male scout, actually Whatever, whatever Got a pen or not? I don't think so oh, Of course Let me check to be sure Behold, a marvel of engineering A stick of ink Give me that Name, banking number, check Art expiration date, I'll check. Mother's maiden name, first name. Okay, that should be it. Make sure you get this back to the bank safely. It's an important deposit. Deposit to me is always top priority. Uh, we'll do. Could I have my pen back? Never specified how long I'd be borrowing it. It's the rule of business. Always read the fine print. But you said it out loud. It wasn't a fine print to read. Well, in that case, finders keepers. And I found this pen in my hand just now. I- Sir! <laughs> Stole it from Janet anyway. Uh, deliver those back to the bank right away. 
You better. No dilly dallying on the clock. Make haste. Damn. Release me? Let me go? Question mark? Oh, it's you. Not yet. Hold on. You're stealing from a thief. Everything's fine. <laughs> There we go. Okay. It wouldn't let me walk away. I was like, do I have to talk to you again? I don't want to. Whatever crime you're committing to that cat, he deserves worse. Don't worry, we're hitting him where it hurts. But he values nothing more than being a big self in his big capital. I think you should just hit him next time. And also be satisfied with a kick. But you got him to sign? Didn't take much convincing. He smelled the money and basically stopped listening after that. Not that he was listening before that. Anyway, I owe you big time. It just so happens I recently came into some wealth, so let me know if you ever need anything. Don't worry, us male scouts are get adequately compensated in friendship. And secret missions, of course. Speaking of our operation, I guess the mission is officially completed. Cool, I've never completed a mission before. We should go deliver the good news. Could you please deliver this letter to Kaz? I think I should go talk to Swamp myself. I just want to be his friend again. No more work. I'm sure he'd love to see you and hear all about your... Our operation. <laughs> I'll go check on Kaz. Good luck and have fun. Okie dokie. Did you figure out how you're gonna confess to your snail crush? I'm coming. I hope. I hope. Hey, little scout. Did you figure it out? Wow, wow, calm down. But yes, ish. No. Well, is there anything she mentioned she likes? Donna likes all sorts of things. That's the problem. I can't think of anything extra special she might like. I was talking about some kind of special spoon. A spoon? Yeah, I think it was called a love spoon? It's supposed to be a spoon that one lover gives to another. I don't remember what she said about it besides that. I was a bit I was a little bit lost in her eyes. But would a normal spoon be fine? No, no, the love spoon is special. I'm sure about that. Can you please help me figure out more about it? Sure, there's no spoon I can't handle. Thanks, Retro. I can really use the help. I'm a bit too nervous. Donna's just so cool and calming. Uh, but sadly, she can't help me out with this one. Maybe start by asking my friend Ham about the love spoon. If anyone knows about love spoons, it'll be him. He can chew his way through a book like no one else. Chewing as in reading? Mostly, yes. Here, I've jotted the situation down. Give this note to Ham. He'll know just what to do. All right, be back, spoon. Ah, I got stuck. Mushroom man. The last one we need is the red cage. It just says it is not in this area. Does that mean, is it probably gonna be up where, um, up where Greg is when we have to get up to the bear? That's what I'm thinking anyway. How's the mail today? Anything biting yet? Mail doesn't usually bite. Well, it's a great day for you then, isn't it? Consider yourself lucky. Uh, I guess so. Huh. It's an excellent point. All right, so if we go back up, we can make it up to the hamster. But that's weird. All I said about the red cage mushroom was that it's not in this area, which is not super helpful. How many times do you have to talk to everybody before you have, like, sup? Not much, just swinging by. Seeing if you need anything. Uh, I thought little buddy came to chill. But of course, you scouts are always on the job. Always. Besides, our quarterly coffee break. You guys only get four coffee breaks per year? Is that too many? <laughs> Clarence is like, bud.
Letter for socks? That me, give here. Who? Who sent it? Yee yee. Uh, it's from Shelby. Shelby the turtle? Not no. Must not be important person. Oh, okay. What say? Do you want me to open the letter? Yee yee. Socks no more toe. You don't have toes? Not since accident. Oh no! <laughs> well, not accident. Long story. No toe, no grip envelope. Retro do. Open quick. Uh, but it's not mail Scott protocol for me to open someone else's mail. Look like socks care. Open fast. Okay. Shelby wants to know how your preparation for the companionship race is going. Ah, running. Spark joy. But you don't seem to be doing much running right now, Socks. Did you forget how? Socks never forget how run. Grandpappy good runner. Teach Socks running. Fun. But he run too much. Break all legs. Oh no! Grandpappy say run fun. Can no run, no fun. Take easy, also important. Capish? I think so. You're saying it's important to rest and not push yourself too hard. CC. You are not quick trick to be fast. Eat healthy. Tie laces. Sleep only on left side. None matter. P passion matter. Resting matters. <laughs> Sucks run fast in championship. Sucks win. No doubt not. I'll cross my fingers and toes for you. Was fun to have to. Enjoying while last. <laughs> Tell Turtle what Sucks say. I can only deliver letters, sadly. Could you write down what you said? No. Take letter back. Tell Turtle what Socks say. Sure, I guess. Singular toe. Bye, Socks. Leave. Done talk. Okie dokie. Thank you, Socks. Words of wisdom. That was actually really good advice. <laughs> Want to roll Socks around, right? I'm here on a love quest. Ah, sorry, I don't really do romance myself. But you seem like a fun person. I'm sure you'll find somebody good soon. It's not for me. Read this. It's the hot goss straight from the source. If I understand this right, Haley wants a spoon from me? At this point, any intel regarding love spoon is appreciated. If you happen to have one that's one that's all the better. Of utmost importance, essential to my happiness. Stop reading already and give the scout some, some spoon info already. Hey, be nice, letter. Even extremely buff hamsters have feelings too, you know. <laughs> I think Haley's just a bit nervous. I'm not too sure about what the whole love spoon thing is about, but I do know about love. I thought you said you didn't do romance. Not firsthand, of course. I'm not trying to get cooties. <laughs> Same. <laughs> but in the books I read, love is all about the dramatics. Making a grand gesture like running through the rain to your beloved. Holding up a boombox. I don't know. Something like that. What was the question again? I have a different question now, actually. Was there a very handsome shirtless man on the front of these love books? Yeah, how did you know? Just a hunch. Everybody knows that the handsomer the man, the truer the words. <laughs> Anyways, the love portion of the love spoon thing covered, right? I mean, I can give you a spoon, I guess. I have two. I love the amazing humongous spoon for efficient eating. And a small spoon. I need to eat lots fast, so I can't give you the big one, even though it is better. Can't do any serious eating with a small spoon. It just doesn't fit nearly enough food. You need to eat lots of food to get buff. You don't have to fit all the food on one spoon, you know. You take scoops with a smaller spoon instead. Sounds fake. <laughs> hey, I'm listen. Anyways, it's okay. Haley says a love spoon is not normal anyway. Your words must be the truest then, Retro. Oh, wait, what? Excuse me? Oh, my brain had to- Excuse- No! Just, I'm, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> but thanks for the offer. I'll write down my advice at least. Maybe she has some use for it. Actually, why don't you ask Toph about the love spoon? Toph and Donna are good friends. Maybe they heard her say something about it. Who knows? Oh, good idea. So what's Kaz's recommendation? A combo of chocolate and coffee. They said you can eat them as is. Let's pop them right in then. It's okay, I guess. Bit all over the place. I don't know, this might be a bit wild for me. I think I need something more sensible. Oh, I know, Shelby. They seem sensible. In some ways, yes, I see it. Got a letter for her? Can't leave without a letter. Uh, is that a real thing? I suppose I could go without a letter. But letters just feel nice jiggling around in my backpack. Makes me feel busy. All right, a letter it is. So can you take this letter to Shelby, dear scout? That would be an honor, dear ham. Look at us, doing mail business. <laughs> what a thunk. Not me, Scout. Not me. See you soon. <laughs> Look at us doing mail business. I'm coming, Toph! Flows so naturally, right? Honestly, it reminds me of almost all of my conversations with my friends, and it makes me really happy. I came here with a purpose. Oh, do tell. I'm on a quest, a love quest. 
Sorry, Scout, you're too young for me. It's not for me, it's for somebody else. You're friends with Donna, right? Correctamundo, we're both roaming collectors of sorts. Well, I'm trying to help Donna's secret admirer. Haley heard something about a love spoon that Donna is interested in. Do you happen to know anything about that? Yes, I know about it. Okay, great. Could you write down some info about it for Haley? Nope, I don't have arms. But you can write it down on my behalf. You got a pen? What kind of male scout would I be if I didn't have one? Okay, I already believe your cover story. But I'm really a scout. That's exactly what I believe. <laughs> Ready yet? Oh yeah, go ahead. <clears throat> the love spoon is a miraculous thing to scoop your stew as starlings sing and to taste each scoop each scoop with love anew. I can't talk. From the spoon your love once gave to you. That's it. I'm sure this will make sense at some point. You can also just ask Donna what she wants. I suppose so. I'll just have to be very sneaky not to reveal anything. I'm not sure if nothing a mostly qualified male scout can't handle. See you around, Toph. Hold on, we have one new hat. I would like to see. What was the new one? Was it this one? No, it was this one. Oh, it's a peach tone. That's cute. It looks like there is an orange. It looks like my head is an orange. Yeah, I'm still here for the peach one. For the I can't talk today. My words have been confiscated. So Donna, Shelby, Shelby, Kaz. Shelby, not Shelby, uh, Donna. Donna's out here. for you today. Hello, Donna. I have a suspicious question. Oh, lordy. I'm not interested in illegal entanglements currently. Sorry. Maybe someone else could help. No, it's not anything strange. But you're the only one who can help. Um, perchance, asking for a friend. Sure, sure. If someone were to give you a gift in order to woo you, I mean, if someone were to ask you out with a gift, what would it be? Scout, I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to stop you right there. Oh, the thing is, I really don't want to have to say this to you, but just not romantically interested in you. It's not for me! It's for Haley. Big oops. Hmm. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say. It's okay, I'm glad to know she's finally making a move. You like her back? Of course. At least the sweetest little thing I ever did meet. It's clear we both like each other, but lordy lord, we've been going at a snail's pace. She wanted to know what gift I would like, huh? Yeah, the plan was to give you a love spoon. Oh lordy. I brought up the love spoon because I'm going to give her one. Scout, I may please ask you for your services. Could you deliver this love spoon to Haley? Nothing would make me happier. Fantastic. No need to check in with me after you've delivered it. From here on, we can manage on our own, I think. You're a good one, Retro. Thanks for helping out. Oh, we got- Oh, that's cute! That's actually adorable. And by going this way, we can also stop and say hi to Shelby. So Shelby's right down this way. Oh no, thwarted by a plate of grass. I'm just, oh my goodness gracious. Wait, are you talking about in Stardew? Mark, you can't just say it like that, please. What are you playing or what are you doing? No, wait, what happened? I'm looking! Mark! You, you really can't do that to me, bud. 
<laughs> it broke in death chair. The LMAO really threw me off. Like, I was like, what the fuck? Okay, my mom sat down. Okay, so she like, okay, okay. Sat back and the rest snapped off. Oh no! Oh, I hope she's okay. And it is what it is. It's not we gotta pull out the element. <laughs> Smoky please. No, you guys don't understand. My my heart fell to my stomach. That shit hurt. I was so scared for a minute. Don't do that to me. <laughs> she ended up on a pile of pillow and couldn't get up. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> I hope I hope she's I'm glad she's alright. That's funny. But Jesus, don't do that to me, please. I have a lot of feelings. <laughs> oh hi, what do I owe this visit? I have a letter from Ham. From Ham? I don't think he was a fan. Oh, he isn't. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. <laughs> I'll squish you until you photosynthesize. <laughs> I'm. Don't squish me. Rude. You're fine, Mark. You ju it just. It just gave me a bit of a startle, like because I didn't actually register the LMAO at first, and I was just like, "What the fuck? We're gonna talk about this in a Twitch chat?" <laughs> like, I, oh my god. Uh, and then my brain was like, "Maybe he's still playing Stardew." I just. I. I had a little. I had a little brain fart. I just. <laughs> that <laughs> hurt a little bit. I'm good. We're good. It's fine. What does he mean? I must taste what you taste. Yeah, he's not the clearest, but basically he's wanting to try people's favorite food combos. Oh, that's a piece of cake. Okay, cake, but with what? I don't mean it like that, dummy. You may or may not know, but if you become forgetful when you're a famous athlete, see, I keep my physique so I can only eat foods that make me go fast. Ergo, fast foods only. Makes sense. It's right there in the name. Precisely. My favorite food combo is french fries dipped in pickle juice. Speechless. Yeah, it's earth shattering, not gonna lie. Here, I have some leftovers from last night. You can pass them along to Ham. Thanks, Shelby. I'm not sure to get into this mouth. Um, I'll be sure to get this into that mouth of his. That's the idea, yes. Don't miss. I'll do my best. Bye bye. Toodles. Yeah. I mean, I don't think I would dislike. I wouldn't dip it in pickle juice because then the fries would just get soggy, and I'm not really here for that. Like, that, that doesn't feel right. Maybe if you blanched the potatoes in the pickle juice before you before you fry them, that would be interesting. McDonald's fries. That I don't really like. I'm I'm neither here nor there. Like I'm saying, I wouldn't dip them in pickle juice. I'm not saying I would be against pickle juice. I actually quite enjoy pickles, so it wouldn't like make me mad or anything. Dip fries in vinegar. Yeah, that is right. Vinegar and fries is very good. If it isn't right, that's like a drizzle, though. I'm because like they, the, my issue again, it's not the, it's not the pickle juice. It is specifically the fact that he said dip, or they. I don't know. I don't remember Shelby's. Uh, Sh the the fact that Shelby said dip it in the pickle juice is where my brain was like, um, no, soggy French fries, no, thank you. But if it's like drizzled on top, like you do with vinegar, then I'd be like totally fine with that. I don't, I like, cause I don't dip in vinegar. I just drizzle, and with that, I would be fine. I'm swear you'd left me to struggle with this all alone. What took you so long? Don't worry about it. I have two things for you. The first one is your official advice letter co-authored by Ham and Toph. Oh, let me have a look. Boot box serenade, running through the rain, taste deep scoop of love. What in the knick-knack paddywhack is all this supposed to mean? Neither of them really helped me figure chug out how to get- the pickle juice, Mama. No, baby, I will not chug the pickle juice, thank you. What a mess I'm in now. Have you forgotten something? Oh yeah, you have another thing. Lay it on me. Here it is, your very own love spoon. Found a love spoon? Amazing. Where did you get this? You might want to sit down for this one. No, I was born to stand. Lay it on me, Scouty. Donna gave it to me to give to you. She... she likes me back? Without a doubt, she said so herself. Oh heavens, what a lucky goose I am today. Thank you for bringing me this wonderful news. No problem. But if you want to thank anybody, you should rather thank whoever sent me your way. Great idea. Can you please give this note to whoever sent the first letter? It would be my pleasure. This is less letter giving and more like note passing in middle school. Like that's what this feels like. Oh, 
My desk chair has died. Oh no, you're gonna have to get- yeah, yeah. Vigilant note passer. Really? Who's that male scout I see? Could it be Cupid themselves? You're one to talk, Graham Graham. None of this would have happened without your meddling. It has properly gone to shit now. <laughs> oh no. Ah oh, well, I can't stand by and watch young love flounder. I met Egbert when I went looking for a nut that I buried. For the nut I had buried a nut on my property. And look at us now. No matter if it starts with something small or a grand gesture, now those two have made the first step that'll figure itself out. See, I didn't know you better. I'd say you're pretty wise, Graham Graham. I'm plenty wise, you little rapscallion. Well, since you're so wise, do you know where Greg is? Oh, my stars, I forgot about him. He's a bit elusive figure around here. He has a nice spot up on the valley up on the ridge. I guess it's so nice that he doesn't come down often. I know Jim hangs around there quite a bit. He's a bit of a funny guy. I never see him much either. Sometimes you can hear his voice on the waterfall. He stays around the pond there, all alone. If you find Jim, I'm sure he'll find Greg too. Go check it out. Thanks for the help. Yeah, we already figured this out, but thank you. Aren't we both helpful today, huh? If you ever need any vegetables for the farm, just let me know. Oh, will do. I don't have any space in my backpack right now, but maybe another time. You're always welcome. I thank you, Daisy. I appreciate you. Bonjour, petit scout de mer. Oh, cat! Wow, did you make that? I did. It's wonderful, Kaz. Merci. Well, what do you truly think of this work? Is it too much or perhaps too little? I think it's beautiful. It tells a story. What story is it telling? The story of ah, oh, the story of taking a shower and remembering to wash behind your ears. That's what it's telling me, at least. Hmm, interesting analysis. Was it not about that? Not really. I don't even have ears. Whoops. So a lot to learn about art. But you'll get better if you keep showing it to people. You know what? You're correct. Thank you, Petit Scout. I am going to draw even harder now. I'm going to become the best artist I can be. Next time you see me, there will be no mistaking what my work is about. My eyes are open and ripe for the looking. Perfect. Keep them that way. Wait, hang on. Did you bring my last work to Irene already? Oh, shoot! I knew there was supposed to be something I should do. See you later. Make sure there is lots to see. No, I have a letter for you. Touch of vanilla ambrose, a hint of lavender. Oh, you jest. Nothing new to smell here but colors, my friend. Veritable universe of hues. I eat, sleep, and breathe paint. Hey, buddy, take a few deep breaths. Wait, no, don't. <laughs> I mean, maybe just put the paint tubes down for a second. I have a letter and some good news. Irene called your work a masterpiece, and Kiki ate it up. No, literally, don't worry. Your masterpiece is signed and on its way to be cashed in. Not signed by you, sadly, but that's probably better. That'd be like signing your name under, well, something illegal. I don't care it's not signed by me. I've experienced ego death, my friend. Need no mortal possessions or esteem. I must simply create. It's okay if I do a big spring cleaning in here then? No! Don't touch my shinies. Exactly. I think what you need is a nap. Maybe some water. Not paint water. On view, a nap does actually sound very nice. Go count some sheep. No more worrying about work. The creating can also wait till tomorrow. You still be you, pure, intuitive, and wondrous. But then also with a clear mind. Oh, mon dieu. That monologue worked wonders. Almost bored me to sleep. Wow, can't believe you'd insult me like that, stinky crow. <laughs> Thank you for the fun times, Kaz. I should be the one thanking you for all you've done today. Here goes. Merci beaucoup, petit scout. Straight from the heart. Well, smell you later, stinky crow. Smell you later, fungus pal. Yes! Good things. Good dynamics. That makes me happy. Sibling vibes. We gotta get to Shelby and Ham. And we need that last mushroom, but I don't know where it is. Oh! Everybody come and welcome, welcome to the party. I'm a welcome, welcome. Isn't anybody welcome, 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 welcome? Hey, yo, welcome in, welcome in. Thank you so much for the raid. How's it going? Hey, I was just, I probably just raided myself. I think I was still lurking. Um, But hello, welcome in, welcome in. Give me just a second, I'll get you a shout out. Oh. 
problem. Give me just a moment. There we go. Hey, welcome in Raiders. How's it going? Let's wait for this clip to play. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Welcome in, welcome in, everybody. For those of you just coming in who may not know me, I am Retrobite VT, your garden variety Cyclops. Um, I am a variety streamer. I do a decent amount of games and a lot of art. Thank you for rating me earlier. You're amazing. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well, welcome in, welcome in. Happy to have you guys. Um, if you gotta go decompress after stream, get something to eat, get something to drink, whatever you gotta do, please, please go take care of yourself. If you have the energy, you're more than welcome to hang out with us. But do what you gotta do first. Just sent it back. Uh, yes, please. My voice hurting. Oh yeah, I totally get that. We are currently playing uh, Mail Time. Which is a game about being a little mushroom dude and delivering mail. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. We're supposed to go to the turtle. So much again, you amazing Mail Time player. Aw, thank you. Absolutely. Happy to have you guys. Make sure you take care of yourself. Drink some tea. Where was I going? Turtle. You need to go to the turtle. Whee! Lovely stream. Okay, I'll see you later to chill and hang out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I have a letter to you from Socks. Hey, this is my letter. Yeah, their message is mostly verbal. The gist of it was nothing matters as much as passion and rest. That's it? No trick to it? They did mention something about sleeping on your left side. But it wouldn't work. Sleeping on your left side? I haven't heard that one before. I'll start tonight. Shelby, that's not the point. <laughs> Bye everyone, lots of love. Bye bye Tricks aren't gonna work. But if I can't find some kind of solution, then I'm gonna lose the race. No one will ever think I'm fast ever again, and then no one will remember me. I won't even be this speedy Shelby marketable plushie, and I'll just be washed up and forgotten. That's a bit pessimistic, isn't it? There's still a lot of time to find your stride. Maybe Daisy can help me. But I'd hate for her to see me so insecure. Can you give Daisy this letter for me? And come back soon. I'll get my jog on. Jogging, running, the race. Oh, I'll never make it. I'll be right back. Try not to spiral out of control. Spirals, loops, laps, the race. Dumb. ruh -ro. <laughs> I love all the little fucking... There are so many. So many little... um. Oh my god. References. That's the word. I found it. There's so many references in this game. It's adorable. you are. The final competitor. You have a letter from Shelby. Oh, how is she? She's so excited about the race. Oh, I always love getting Shelby's notes. Bless my soul. The poor thing has worked themselves into a tizzy over some running. Shelby is a they them. Okay. I was trying so hard. I was like, I can't remember what they said. <laughs> oh, no, it's she. I didn't know she was so worried about the race. Yeah, they seem pretty stressed. Is it she? Oh, it's probably she they then. I think she sees me as some kind of idol, that I'm some kind of natural, but growing up, I was the slowest. All 12 siblings were faster than me. When I came here, I managed to find the fun in running again. And I hope she'll be able to do that soon as well. Here, let me pen a quick response. Could you give this to Shelby, please? I don't want this tearing her up a moment longer. No problem, Misty. Let's go. Now back to the turtle. I'm going, Vicini. Back to the beginning. Ah, let me out. Let me out. Thank you. Release me. God, the flowers are so pretty. I wish you could walk through them a little more effectively, though. Dodge a wee, dodge a wee. Evasive maneuvers. Have you guys ever seen? There was this old movie, Zathura. Um, Zathura. It was. It was the one of the like 
Um, it was like Jumanji, but space themed pretty much where they, they had to play the game to the end to get out of the, the, the trouble and everything. One of my favorite parts of that whole movie is when he's screaming erasive maneuvers and running in circles in the living room. <laughs> hey there, speedy shelves. Back, back, back again. Oh, hi there, retro. Sorry, I've been feeling a bit down. Please tell me you have some good news from Daisy. Here's her letter. She was really worried about you. You shouldn't push yourself so hard. Being fast isn't all there is to life. You should run to have fun. You're enough just as you are. Oh, this is almighty kind, but I just don't see the point anymore. I think I'm going to throw in the towel. There's no way I'll win that race anyway. Hang on. There's another letter in here. It's a blank page. Oh, wait, it says something here. Can I please have the autograph of the first Turtle Track Star ever? Oh, no, I'm going to cry. Don't cry. Well, I'll sign it first before you cry. Can't deliver a soggy autograph to Daisy. Don't worry, Scout. I'll deliver this one. That way I can get some extra training in. Thanks for sticking around when I got the sads. Of course, no one should be sad alone. And that means it's the end of the sads? Hopefully, Scout, hopefully. Take care, little Scout, run fast. You too, Shelby. Awesome. I got it. Okay, I gotta go back to the hamster for the pickle juice and fry combo. He's gonna be thrilled, I can tell. How much you want to bet he's going to try all these things that people also like and then realize that what he liked to begin with is still his favorite. And he was like, maybe I was just tired of it because I couldn't compare it to anything else. <laughs> Let's see. You think I can get the frog to talk to us again? Are you there, Mr. Well Voice? He said no. Okay. Fine, I guess. I'm gonna talk to you anyway. Look at little snowdrops. You know where I'm at, like like um Oh my god, my brain just lagged so hard. <laughs> Around where I live, there are wild daffodils everywhere in the summer, and I'm so excited. Ah. Like the entire like the sides of the road are just like absolutely overwhelmed with like these giant patches of really pretty like vibrant yellow daffodils, and it's the best thing ever. What you got for me now, Retro? So Shelby, right? She gave me her leftovers to take to you. It was to take these directly to your mouth. Oh, that's kind. What is it? Her favorite food is french fries dipped in pickle juice. Okay, it's worth a try, I suppose. I like french fries. I like pickles. It should be a slam dunk. Munch, munch. And? No. Oh, dear. It's actually the worst of both worlds. <laughs> Retro, I'm running out of hope. Thought we would have had something by now, but I'm gaining nothing but losing and losing hope. That's not true. You have a better idea of the things you don't like, and you're that much closer to finding what you love. I suppose you're right. Come on, Ham, one more? Socks is really elusive. Must be hiding a really big culinary secret. So take this letter to Socks then, please? Of course, Ham. Don't you worry, it'll all work out. We're gonna ask the caterpillar. The caterpillar eats trash! He's already told us about this. Like, actively eats trash. He asked us to collect it for him. Mail delivery for Socks? Me. Ah, I didn't know your name was an acronym. What does it stand for? Socks give hint. First S stand for socks. <laughs> his name is an acronym and his fir the first S stands for socks. Naturally. Well, socks, you have a note from Ham. Read with sound. You can't read it yourself? Never learn how. Oh, I can teach you to read. Retro, retro, retro. No. <laughs> if socks read, socks may be too powerful. Risky. <laughs> socks. No curveball, he's a culinary connoisseur. <laughs> I, you know what? Sure, fine. Ham wrote, through eating, I can become like you. This is the worst one yet. Ah, understand. Ham want good food, see? Y yeah. What's the sock specialty? Crayon. C crayon? See. Dirt road crayon. Why the dirt? Seasoning. <laughs> Socks, I, why do you even eat crayons? Why retro not? Eat crayons, see color. That how world work. How many crayons have you eaten? 
Now? Yeah, so far, how many crayons? Hmm, 15? What? <laughs> maybe less, maybe more. I'll become blur after 10. I guess that's what eating crayons does to you. Uh, can you maybe have a crayon I can bring to ham? CC. Best flavor, blue crayon, rolled in dirt already. Don't worry. Tastes like, no. So Socks keeps the prize for him. Uh, great. Thanks, Socks. No problem. First time Socks enjoy talk to Retro. A uh, fucking rude. Hold up. Really? That's the first time I've enjoyed talking to you. Motherfucker. <laughs> I'm gonna fight you. <laughs> ham bone. Sorry, it's just ham right now. No bone. Unless I have bones inside me. And I don't think so. Never seen them. <laughs> Anyways, yes, what's up? I have sock snacks. It's certainly unique. Brace yourself. Uh, dirty crayon? Is the dirt essential? Sadly, yes. Well, I did ask, I suppose. Here goes nothing. How is it? It's... You don't have to be nice. You can spit it out. Actually, it's not half bad. What? Oh, no. Now it's actually really bad. <laughs> oh, dear. I feel it all rumbly in my tummy. Oh, it hurts. Retro, I need comfort food. Blueberries and cheese. I thought you didn't like that anymore. It's better than this, for sure. Blueberry should be on the picnic blanket. And cheese I threw in the trash. Please get them. Sit tight. I'll be right back. Please be speedy. I got you, bro. Blueberry. Blueberry. Uh, got it. Okay. And the cheese is in, is in here because the, the worm is being sassy. Excuse me, sir. Would you quit looking at me like that? I'm gonna fight you. You wanna go? You wanna go? You're lucky I don't have a hit button. <laughs> <laughs> Retro, please tell me you have blueberry and cheese. Here you go, ham. They're a bit uh, trash flavored. Sorry about that. Anything is better than this. Gold munch, 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 munch. I've healed. Blueberry and cheese with garbage sauce to save me. This is literally the best food ever. Are you sure you're not delirious from stomach ache or something? No, no, really. I feel all better. The blueberry is really good. It gets even better with cheese. Gouda cheese is best of all. But the garbage sauce transcendent. It's just chef's kiss. Ew. Best food for there is for sure. I should have seen it coming. I'd feel better than ever. Sure. Well, healthy ham, riddle me this. Do you know where Greg is? Oh, that's easy. Greg doesn't show face too much. But rumor is he lives on the ridge to keep himself out of the valley. Don't know. Maybe he's got sick of the rest of us. Either way, he still hangs with Jim. Jim is one of a kind, you could say. Still elusive, but less so than Greg. He says to stick to the palm above the pond above the waterfall. Blah, 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 blah. Uh-huh. He should be pointing you to, to Greg. Yeah. No, he already did. I had to get more... Well, it looks like the only letter we have left is the one to Greg at the moment. So, onward, I suppose. Hi, Socks. I'm hoping the other mushroom is somewhere around here. Because we're missing the last mushroom for Toph. Hold on. I didn't go all the way around here, I don't think. So let me take a look-see around. I don't see any mushrooms. The last mushroom we're looking for is a red cage. already been around this part. I just wasn't sure if I had gone completely around the back or not. You think there's anything hiding behind these waterfalls, like the other one? Hold on. Ah. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> I didn't drop my headphones. You dropped your headphones. I don't know what you're talking about. Huh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, hold on. Let me take a look-see over here. I just want to see if there's anything hiding behind the waterfalls. I don't think so. It definitely doesn't look like it. No. Oh, secret. Nah, no, nothing. Okay. I was curious. It's kind of anticlimactic. Hey, 
only bounce a little. Oh, hey, thank you so much for the follow, Axomarine. Welcome in, welcome in. Welcome to the Hyperbite Homestead. Happy to have you. I think we've gotten three more badges since we last talked to him, so we should be able to go deliver to the bear. Jim, Jim! I've got all the badges I need. Wonderful. And you finished everything you've wanted to? After getting to Greg's place, you're probably leaving immediately. Mail scout protocol and all. Oh yeah, I'll be sure to finish up my deliveries then. Glide up with the air from the hot spring on my house. I've just opened it up, so you should be able to glide across now. Oh, easy peasy. And find your way through the overgrown bush. You're going the right way as long as you're going generally up. You'll see Greg's cave is pretty big. Less easy peasy, but not impeasable. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So wait. If that's the case, then how do I... Hold on. I have an idea. If I go all the way up. Can I go over that way? I'm thinking maybe the mushroom that we need is this way instead of going to Greg's. gotta be, right? There's like, there's a little ladder. A little ladder for little guys. Okay, so here's a clothespin. Oh, what's that? Are these the mushrooms I seek? They are not. I don't want to go to Greg's yet. I'm trying to find the mushroom. that? Oh, that's a bucket. <laughs> this is a bucket. Dear God. Where's the last mushroom? I haven't seen a cage mushroom anywhere. <laughs> There's more. No! <laughs> We are missing a mushroom, and it's going to drive me crazy. I really cannot think of any other place that, like, we haven't been. And if that's the end of the game, like, you can't go back, I'm worried. Like, I want to know. I want to know. Can you show me? Secrets? Secret tunnels. Secret tunnels through the mountains. Oh. Me. What's with all the bones? That's foreboding. Poor boning. Eh. Hello, Greg. Hello, Mr. Greg. I have a letter for you. It's kind of important. Wake up! Do you think he's dead, B? I'm huge. Bzz. Maybe we should poke him with a stick to check. Mm. Okay, I won't poke the bear. Bzz. What? I think he's gone into hibernation. What's that? It's like a super nap. That's okay. I'll just wait for him to wake up. 
What? Well, for how long? Until spring? Then I can't deliver the letter today. Leave it here? Absolutely not. Someone else might take it. That's not the male scout way. Fine, I'll do it. Jay's probably still at the van. Again, where is the fucking mushroom? This is gonna drive me batty. There is one more mushroom that I need to collect the sample from. There it is! I see it! Got it! Yeah, we got all the mushrooms! Oh, the cat's not here. Congrats on your first completed assignment! Oh, um, that's so nice of you all, but, uh, I'm so sorry to disappoint. I didn't deliver the letter, Greg. I'm so sorry. Can I have a word retro? I'm so sorry, Janet. Please don't be mad. I'm not mad at you. Why not? I failed. I can't come back from something like this. All of the scouts will think I'm a fraud. Sometimes we're just kind of meant to fail and learn from it, you know? Oh, no! I, I don't know! I needed this delivery to go well. Why? What about all the other letters you delivered by now? I don't think I wasn't keeping an eye on you. Because it was my assignment. I got to complete my first assignment perfectly. What will happen if you failed it? I don't know. Everyone will be disappointed in me. I think I'm not a real male scout. It'll ruin me. Does that mean I'm not a real male scout either? Have you ever failed an assignment? Yep, many times. One time I read the address wrong and ended up at the North Pole. Really? Yeah, sometimes you mess up. Or sometimes something you just can't be done the way you wish it would be. It's totally fine to fail, it just happens occasionally, and we learn from it. Thanks, Janet. That makes me feel better. No worries, Retro. Now how about you go enjoy the party everyone put together for you? Come talk to me again when you're ready to skedaddle. Okay, Miss Boss. Look at ham jamming. Hey, Socks. You good, Socks? Let Socks ask the rest a fair question. Socks look like Socks want talk. Socks no spare leg to stand on. Bing bong music costs leg lots leg energy. <laughs> need professional farming advice from the nature cyclops. What you need? You don't need legs to chat though. Retro thick skull? Not chat time. Socks chase auditory glory. Wow, that's a long word for you, Socks. Retro go to jail. Jail in Socks head. <laughs> retro in jail for retro in forever jail. Suffering daily. Well, that's too bad. I'll be off then. Love your xylophone playing, though. It sounds beautiful. Beck. <laughs> Forever jail. Hello there, ham. Hello yourself, retro. Thanks again for pulling me out of my culinary slump. It's not a bad job, scout. Yeah, yeah, not bad at all. Oh, huh? what's with the face? I'm confused how you were dancing that hard but are breathing so normally. It's all in the core strength, my dear scout. My extreme internal muscles are simply not allowing me to be out of breath. Summer 18th, I have a good amount of money. Okay. Or Dinib for short. I have no one calling to tell if I'm nervous. I also now no one can tell if I'm nervous when I'm Dinibbing. Are you nervous, Ham? A little. I'm not so good with people. Do you think I'm dancing too much? Am I making a fool out of myself? Be honest. Ah, you good. You're dancing exactly the right amount for you. Thanks, Retro. Glad you think so. I'd hate to dine and dash, but I have to stop talking now. 
No less the no long the longer I spend talking, the less time I spend eating. I can't fucking talk. Time is calories, my friend. Reading a mob. I have a better catch it catching a sturgeon. Replace the energy you use as soon as you use it, or you're gonna run out. It's called replacing energy real time, or revert for speed talking. I'm reverting, eating and dancing. Truly a jack of all trades. More like a ham of all of all. Shoot, I can't think of a rhyme again. That's okay. We're all brain power for rerting and dinuing. <laughs> right you are, right you are. Bye, Retro. It was nice to meet you. Likewise, Hamalam. What be your suggestion? Um, if I could invest in a barn and some moves. Um, I feel like you get a larger turnout from the cows. Hi, Retro. Hi, Shelves. Finally out of sport mode? Yes, I'm in party mode now. Gosh, it wasn't that long ago that you arrived here in Grumblewood Grove. And already you have a party in your honor. Real move it on up, little scout. Aw, oh, gee, thanks. I'll never forget my humble beginnings. You are my very first delivery, Shelby. Did you know that? Yeah, I knew. You were shaking like a leaf. You were still nervous. No, I wasn't. That's an embellishment retelling. Embellished or not, you've come far, little scout. And you've got further to go ahead of you if you're willing to go there. I know you can do it if you put your mind to it. Thanks, Shelves. Those are real kind words. I only said them. You made them true all by yourself. You'll do good, kid. Now go on and party. Off I go! Aw, cute. <laughs> Swap a bomb up. How's life treating you? Splendidly. As you can see, I'm recon- um, I'm- I am- oh my god, my brain. I am reclining with my homies. I've got my punch, the sun's out. A rat could not want for more. That's good to hear. Things are winding down there after the heist then. Thankfully. This hangout, it's been a long time coming. Thanks for making it happen, Retro. So the special spark you have inside that you use to help us. You're gonna help a lot of people with that spark. Aw. And maybe the spark can one day light a fuse. Oh no. A fuse burns all the way down to a boomstick. And then... Boom! <laughs> Explosion. Explosion indeed. I'll just have to see what happens, I guess. A rat can dream. Take care, little scout. Don't be a stranger. Wouldn't dare, Swampy Swoo. Swampy Swoo to you too, Retro. <laughs> I want to talk to Annie. Annie! Man. Look at Jim. Hey, Jim. Seems like you made it down to the valley then, huh? Oh, hey, Retro. It's fine. The best sets are the ones where the crowd walks on stage and interrupts the artist. Oh, sorry. It's okay, really. I think I needed a little reminding that other people exist. It's nice to have an audience for once, even though some seem more concerned with themselves than this heavenly music. Truly ing ingrates. You're right. I'm glad I got to meet you, Retro. Now I must return to my musical duties. It's really hard to play and talk at the same time. I'm hanging on by a thread here. <laughs> okay, break a leg. I would rather not. See ya. Clarence is fucking jamming. Clarence! Hey, Clarence! For crying out loud, Clarence! <laughs> Oh, hey there, little scout. Don't mind me, I was just jamming. Thanks so much for your help earlier. You've turned Egbert's frown upside down. It's nothing short of a miracle. You know, with the noise complaint and all, I figured you'd be into, I don't know, a cooler instrument. Scout, scout, scout. You are truly not yet wise in the ways of the world. This triangle possesses unique raw musical power. <laughs> this man is jamming out really, really hard, and he's playing the triangle. <laughs> Oh my god, I love Clarence. I love him so much. <laughs> and I am its vessel to unleash it onto the world. <laughs> you dig? Uh, I'm digging. I think. Don't worry, let me get back to it and I'll show you what it's all about. Just listen and enjoy the party. Thanks again, little friend. someone go ham on a triangle before truly an interesting experience. It's phenomenal. Oh. Oh, you. This is your party, isn't it? That's what I'm told. Guess you're quite the big shot around here now, huh? You think you're real something. Well, listen here, bub. This town ain't big enough for the two of us. This kitty's got claws. Uh, before you go on, I just want you to know I'm really quite scared, quivering even. I don't like your tone, Retro. I'll show you when I finally get my- shoot, what was it again? A deposit? Yeah, that was definitely a uh, deposit you signed for. 
Nothing more. Oh, sure, you delivered it to the right people. I want my sex now. I went to the right people, all right. You said wink out loud. Yeah, what about it? Finally get that deposit not buying out the company you work for. Oh, see you then, future boss. What you doing there? Ah! <laughs> I mean, nice to see you, Retro. What brings you here on this fine morning or evening? I mean, is there something in on Kiki's forehead? What? No. Because you seem to be pretty staring at it pretty intently. Well, for me, coin collecting is just the start. I want many coins. Kiki has many coins. Like, lots. And why spend valuable energy finding out how to go about doing that when you could just steal someone else's idea? Spoken like a true capitalist. You'll go far in this field. You think? Well, I don't hope so, but we'll see. You'll see, Retro. I'll make you proud. Don't know if I'd be making me proud, but go off, I guess. Oh, hi, recruit. Whoops, I mean, hi, Retro. Sorry, it's weird not being, not being working, not working anymore. Ah, no worries. What if I told you the recruit is my middle name? It is? No, my middle name is Garlic. Why is your middle name Garlic? Long story, too long for now. <laughs> I am Retro. Retro Garlic Bite. How did you know? <laughs> so, what do you think of the party? I love it. It's nice to see everyone out and about and having fun. I'm glad. When Janet asked for help in organizing the party earlier, it felt right to contribute after all you've done for me and the gang. You, you and Janet set up this party? Thank you so much. I guess I was thinking about what we were talking about earlier. About sipping drinks? You realize that was a metaphor for wealth redistrib redistribution, right? Yeah, I got that. I was thinking about what it's like to be busy. Like being busy. I like being busy. Sometimes it feels like relaxing is the hard part. The problem starts not when I, um, starts when I don't get to not be busy. But helping out with the event planning like this, the relaxing part is... I, oh, I skipped it. No. And if it's up to me, we'll have a Grumblewood get down every week. No need to worry about the cost. And a certain feline friend is f is fronting the expenses. Well, don't let me keep you from enjoying your first party of many. You should also enjoy it. It's in your honor. You'll come to the next party too, right? Wouldn't miss it for the world, Irene. Good, good. Can't wait to see you there. Mr. Capybara, buddy. Are you having fun? Hello, Max and Max's hat. Hi from both of us. It isn't my regular hat, though. Oh? It's my party hat. Looks identical to your normal hat. Ah, but is entirely unidentical in every other way. That's why you greeted it just now. On some instinctive level, you knew it was different. You are overestimating my instincts. <laughs> but this is a party, so I'll agree to keep the peace. Good call. And good party. Enjoy it. I will. Thank you, Max. Oh, Retro, how delightful to see you. You are enjoying this petit fond. Oh, I, I can't speak French. <laughs> Oh, the party? It's splendid. Ah, oh, your good feline friend has done the honors of funding this event. Knowingly? Some questions are best left unanswered, Scout. I understand. How's the art going? Oh, so-so. Inspiration comes and goes. You know how it is. Not really. I don't need much inspiration to deliver mail. I suppose not, but there is a cutie in, a, in the band over there. Their passion and energy is certainly inspiring me. <gasps> Who? Who is it? Don't look, don't look. And also, don't ask. I'll never, ever tell. Aw. Shut up, Retro. You did great work today. Hope to see you around again soon. Au revoir, Scout. See you soon, Stinky Crow. I swear, if you call me Stinky one more time, I'm joking, I'm joking. Bye, Kaz. Bye, Retro. He's talk- oh. Does that mean it's not an unrequited crush? Clarence! Clarence, come confess to Kaz right now! <laughs> Clarence! Hello? Anybody in there? Yep, Snowdrop. Poor Bun must be tucked out from all the excitement. Sleep tight, little Bun. Night, Snowdrop. I can't talk to Annie and that makes me sad. Annie. Annie! We don't got Annie. Annie! Where's Daisy? Hi, Toph. Oh, it's Retro, my favorite scout. What you doing all the way out here? Just taking a breather. No, not one for parties? Not usually, no. It's mostly the noise. My ears are a bit sensitive. It doesn't take much before it's too much. Oh, well, I'm glad you came either way. There's no wrong way to party. I'm glad you think so. Mind if I ask you an honest question? Sure. The mushroom on your head. Were you born with it? Can you feel through it? And if so, what do you feel? I've been wondering this whole time. It's a lot of follow-up questions after these ones. It's not. It's not. Can you not feel through it? Or only when you're older? Or heaven forbid. Did you have an accident? Tough. It's a hat. It's just a mushroom hat. Oh, that makes sense then. You sure picked a good one. It's quite pretty. Only a little bit poisonous. And if you had to eat it to survive, you could. But you wouldn't enjoy it. Ah, oh, good to know. Thanks, Toph. <laughs> Thanks for coming to check in on me. Good luck on your next adventure. The same to you. It says I have a letter for Toph. Mm -hmm. 
I also haven't seen Daisy. Remember? Oh, yeah, I have the mushroom, but I have the whole year to complete the community center. Yeah. After talking with... Oh, yeah, that's right. But it still says... It still tells me to go back to Janet, which I'm getting ready to do. So I was assuming it was more of a quest thing as opposed to a... Oh, now, can I escape? Oh? Ha ha ha! Look at me go! All the mushrooms, baby! I want to know what the red, what the cage one looks like. No, not that one. Wait, which one's the new one? Oh, does the cage one not have one? That's weird. Find them. Keep your secrets. Shiny purple? No, no, because the cage one was red. Because this shiny purple one was another mushroom that we found. Because they look like the mushrooms that you found. Which would, I was assuming would be this one, but that's just my, my original mushroom. So I guess it doesn't get ahead. Aw, um, yeah. Fine. I still found it. I'm happy with that. Oh, can I talk to the frog? What does the frog have to say? Why is he not at the party? Sir! You think you're too good for my party? You there, Mr. Well Voice? Still no. Damn. Fine. Daisy at? What did the melon say to the pumpkin? What? <laughs> I see that you said, oh my gourd, Mark. But remember, it didn't like the commas last time. I don't think it likes the dot dot dots. So Bebe just leaves the question forever unanswered. Where is Daisy? You ready to go, kid? Yep. You sure? Sure. No going back. Talk to me when you're ready. Ready. Ready to go now? Sure thing. You feeling any better? Yes. You know, thanks for listening to me. No problem, kid. We all need a little support sometimes. I'm still a little scared to tell Male Scout HQ, but I'll be okay. Yes, you'll be fine. The tension is unbearable. <laughs> they know deliveries don't always go as planned. You can just come back when Greg's out of hibernation and try again. Then I'll be more prepared. Exactly. You did 54 deliveries today from what I hear. It wasn't always easy. But I'm so happy I was able to help everyone today. Sadly, because of the Greg business, the higher-ups won't be able to give you your official Male Scout patch yet. But don't you worry, kid. There's the unofficial one. I got you one right here. I did it! You stole from work? I'm calling CEO Mail of Mail right now. No, no, no! I made you one. Because you're a true Male Scout to me. Retro, are you gonna say anything? Janet, you're the best mom a boss could wish for. Bro. Oh my god. Oh my gourd. There you go. <laughs> Wait, was that? Oh my god. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Ellipses just take forever. Apparently, that was, I didn't know it did that. <laughs> no, you know what? Doesn't matter. I have. I don't have to be perfect. Thank you, Mom, Boss, Janet. You're not my kid. You know, whatever. Never mind. Say what you need to say. I'm an unofficial male scout, baby. That was insane. I did like. I didn't realize. cute little pictures. This is a Dutch game? I guess so. God, this was so cute. Alright, well apparently that is mail time. So, if you guys want to give me just a second, I am going to whoop, hop on over to the Just Chatting screen, say a little something something, and then we will find somebody to raid. Give me just a second. Alrighty, well thank you guys so much for joining me today for mail time. I wasn't sure if I was going to be like beating the whole game in one day or not because I really didn't know, have like any approximate knowledge of how long it was. Um, but I had a whole lot of fun. It was super, super cute. Like I'm, I'm super, super happy that I got it. Um, we got to be a little mushroom dude and that's all that matters. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, so it is a very cute little game, isn't it? I thought it was adorable. Um, but yeah, so, uh, for those of you who may not have been around recently, uh, we do have a donathon that's going to be starting tomorrow. Uh, if you want to come and hang out and chill and support, that's totally cool. Um, everything is appreciated, nothing is expected, so feel free to come by and have fun. I didn't mean to do SO, that was my bad. <laughs> I'm a doofus. I will be there for the donathon. Oh, thanks, dude. I appreciate you guys showing up. But there is the information. We're starting tomorrow around. Uh, hey, Retro. Yes. What is it, Mark? I pause. Yes. Do you have your raid target in mind? I do not. I was actually just looking through my list of buddies. VR chat. I don't play VR chat. It makes me motion sick. Would you like to watch someone play it? No, not. I'm not gonna lie. No, it's not super appealing. <laughs> I don't really. I don't really care for VR chat all that much. Oh well. Sorry, Mark. But yeah, if you guys would like to come hang out tomorrow, uh, I would be happy to see you all. We are actually going to go raid a frog buddy that I only found recently. 
It was worth a shot. That's fair. I was streaming, but I'm kind of in a writing mood right now. That's totally fine, Kirby. Hell yeah. All right. So for those of you who are... A frog buddy of mine. <laughs> There's so many frogs. There's never too many frogs. There are never too many frog streamers, okay? 10 out of 10. But yeah, for those of you who are not subscribed, there's the regular raid message. And for those of you who are subscribed, there is the animated raid message, if you want to copy that over for me. Um, we're going to go raid um, Iggy Keru, who is playing for the king right now. Here, please go give them all the love and support. I would greatly appreciate it. Let me type this out. I can't type. Is that it? Did I spell it right? I did not. There we go. Okay, and while that's loading up, um, thank you guys so much for being here for mail time again. I had a whole lot of fun, and I can't wait to see some of you guys tomorrow. Um, I might stream again later tonight, honestly. It depends. Um, we'll see how my mood is feeling. I might do a movie night in the Discord instead, because I really need to stop doing double streams and <laughs> um, so many days in a row. I'm going to burn myself out. Uh, but yeah, um, happy to have you guys. I hope you guys have a fun time over there, and I will catch you next time. Please have a fantastic day, night, or evening, wherever you're at. And I'll see you later, saplings. Bye-bye.